like J. Cole, it's my first time. God damn it, she's so fine. She got a body and a sharp mind. Not a nine, she a straight dime. Short skirt and some hot socks. She finished up. All right. All right, so we I guess we might as well just jump right into it and explain. Is your mic on? My mic is on. Okay. Yep, his mic's on. I think everybody's mic's on. Yeah, you, everybody can. Okay. Man in the box, how's it sound? Sounds good. We, we, all right, do we look good? Look good. What camera are you on? Man, you lying right. now. I'm on B. You're on B? All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and explain well, bunch, every yeah. single thing of I'm why we're recording to <laughs> what we're doing. Uh, first off, this is episode two of D and D session with our awesome voice actor here, Tommy. Uh, if you didn't see episode one, I'm going to ask you to go check that out. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. We want to make sure that you guys actually come back. Join the bell squadron. Yep, join the squad. Hit the bell. Hit that squad bell. Goals. Uh, other than that, the reason why we're we are recording, we are actually going to record two episodes, about two hours each. We actually paid attention to. Uh, the 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 analytics. analytics that we got from the last D and D session. Like you want more? Yeah, and everybody but really seemed to blocks. enjoy it, but everybody was kind of worn out about you know about the four hour marker. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to break this up into <laughs> a digestible bite. Yeah, so it's going to be about two hours a piece. We're going to record two episodes today. Uh, the main reason why we didn't go live because we're actually shooting this on Wednesday. You guys will see this Friday. It's Wednesday. Yeah, it's oh, Wednesday. Yeah. I got class tomorrow. Yeah, you got class tomorrow. So the reason why we're doing all this is because of class work, and well, I have nothing, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but nonetheless, that's that's why we're gonna break it up. It's gonna be very simple. Tommy, are you ready to be? Beat the hell you. Out of again. <laughs> I don't think you want me to be me. The 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 last uh if you didn't catch last week's live stream, uh <coughs> yeah, Tommy Wait actually threatened me with James's oh, role. Yeah. Do you remember that? And you got yeah. a two. You have harmed me, sir. <laughs> Kyle, all you had to do was not mention it. That's all you had to do. Now I knew it was it. coming. I figured you would remember. Sometimes the best thing to say is nothing. Nothing. At all. Oh man, I may have put myself in a bad situation. I am still playing Keegan. Buzzard. Who? Buzzard. Buzzard. Vizard. Buzzard. Vizard. 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 Crank. Claudia. Oh wait. Yeah. I, 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 I <laughs> Everybody play, else. I play everything else. He is the god to our characters. He can smite us. He is us. the Mr. Nobody of our Doom Patrol. <laughs> so, I prefer the, uh, I hand I prefer the hands from Sma uh, Smash. Ah, Master, yeah. Hand, Master Hand. Master yeah, hand. Master Hand. <laughs> anyway, I am going to pass it off to you, Tommy. It is all on you, so pick Wait. up where we left off. We just got treasures. Wait, we're starting now? Okay. You, you're, aren't um, you missing something? Well, um, Are we? you had picked up a it's the D, D session it's not alive so i mean i can uh, do the intro if everybody wants me to hurts. it's always never fun. hurts they know who we are ah fuck it you know what i'm gonna do it real quick it's real fast <laughs> hey a good test of the new audio hmm. hello everybody my name is kyle the irishman morrow and welcome to D, &D not live yell at, huh? yell, at yell at it yell at it what i am yelling at the mic but pretend it's your ex-girlfriend <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> don't do that <laughs> sorry headphone users yeah. that's not cool <laughs> that was the gnarliest <laughs> sound ever it, the it clock, literally made it the we are this is demonetized like this motherfucker. is a family channel <laughs> no, it dude it literally I, I well, it made a beautiful that sound <laughs> <laughs> I figured well, I figured this would look too wrong so I just kind of went with the death <laughs> Well, Watch her see this now. Watch her see this now. I don't care. <laughs> I guess the intro is screwed up now. Yeah, I don't. I and the one and only, Joan Lee Conley, the man in the box. Box. Yes, and we do Hi. have Joan Lee. So, Sounds so uh, enthusiast, <laughs> or whatever the word Which, is. It's weird. Normally, your intros, you know, you know, the man on audio, the man on video, and the man on audio and video are just like, hey, man in the box, it's yours right now. 
It's kind of nice. It's like it's I like they him. do the background stuff, but he takes it all under control as soon as the show starts. That's how this works. I just call him the one and only. The one and only. Yeah. The man of all things. Poor John Lee. He's got so much weight on his shoulders. He has two humongous boots to fill. So we only I'm got really about two hours. And they're Boys lopsided because it's two different sizes. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> all right. All right. Well. I don't want to if you remember, off the last session, we left off after the group picked up a, a small number of treasures. Uh, actually, yeah, I remember what I got was uh, I don't remember anything. silver a silver string bow and plus you two. A, you have a plus two you enchanted hand axe. Oh, yeah. uh, well, if you recall the events, um, everybody entered the room, chose their trinkets and odds and ends, and then Claudia and everybody That's killed... Like, bring the mic closer to you as best as you can, buddy. Yeah, yeah, like a fist away. Is this better? Just a little bit, yeah. Actually. There you go. Hey, okay. suck it in. <gasps> Alright, well. Everybody chose their trinkets. Claudia killed and maimed a mimic and violated the chamber. Violated the um, chamber. Stole the gold. Yeah, she took all the gold, by the way. Took, well, um, I forcibly something took happens rather abruptly as you're all looking over your new toys and counting your coins. Oh, no. The door slams shut. Yeah. Oh. Ah, crap. No. What do we do, Dr. Jones? <laughs> and then uh, the floor falls out. Oh, shit. And darkness falling. Can anybody fly? Nope. I can fall really hard. It feels like an eternity. I need a dexterity saving throw from everybody. Hey, we're supposed to play 20 questions while we're <laughs> So is it D20? D20 plus your dexterity saving throw if you are. 16. Dexterity. By the way, we are still learning plus for two. some of us. 16 dexterity is plus 2. So 18. Maybe. Okay. Oh my god, I can't read this. So. Oh, yeah, the, the gold has wore out of those. You want to pick a different set? Okay, nice. I got a natural Kyle. 20. Nice. I'm good. You sure you want? Okay, I was going to say after that throw. <laughs> okay, so we have a 20 and 18. What? 10. 10? 23. 23. All right, let's start this off right. Oh, no. Uh, he's going for the big box. No, no. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Kyle. Uh, can, I do, can I do, like, invasion? Or whatever that is. Um, please, monster. Vizar, you take twenty. Yes, please. Bludging damage from the fall. Ouch. The rest of you take ten, as you Ouch. land amongst a pile of corpses and bone shards dig into your scalp from the fall and your your backs. So and I'm still hurt. Am right? I still hurt? Yes. I'm still hurt from like. You haven't had a chance to rest. Oh what? my God, you know, y'all. No, y'all. Dang. Not for fall damage. Y'all, I am still hurt from last time, and I only I'm have. Good at 80. I, I have 25. Make sure you. Uh, keep yeah, I did up, up my health from a level up, but that doesn't help me none. For I was still hurt from last time. Wait, but wouldn't that mean that my my number would be back to normal though if my health extends or no? Your maximum HP goes up, but your current HP does not. Dang. I'm at 25 health right now. Oh, Vizar, you aren't looking so good, are you? No. What are you at? Nothing. That's what I thought. I was at like five. I am not that. No, I have gone through <laughs> two healing potions that I purchased for my ass, and I'm having to save you. No, yours. just one because I told you to use one out of my bag last time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, um. Still got two left. That comes in handy. That was quick. I didn't mean to. Do that, but that happens. Okay, so I was hoping not to. He's die like, this he's time. like, I'm gonna kill them first episode, check. first ten minutes. So in. Claudia is gonna try to make a medicine check yeah. to stabilize him. You know how to do that. Go ahead. Yeah. That'll loot. Um. So he's no longer dying. Eighteen plus six. Uh, Claudia manages to pull the bones out and stop the bleeding and uh put his leg back together. Put, put everything back in the correct position, but he's still unconscious. If you want to wait a couple minutes, he'll come back to one. Wow. Good job, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh. it, it's not really his fault, but okay. <laughs> so, all right. So, the room that you find yourself in is a large 80 by 80 room full of fetid water, bone shards, and skulls. 
and you hear several sounds sh- uh. shifting through the bones. You hear bones clattering, clattering against each other. Rocks fall. Everybody dies. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, hold up. I was reading. I just hear rocks fall. You all die. <laughs> Hang on. I'll do the rocks fall. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you find yourself in this room, and there are quite a few disturbing sounds. You manage to get yourself all sta- wow, standing up. That's the disturbing sound. Picking yourself together. <laughs> There is a large stone doorway at the end of this chamber. More lock. About 80 feet away. I would like to sneak. Want to sneak? Give me a stealth check. Yeah. So it's an 80 by 80 room and it's 80 feet away? Yes. So it's on the other side of the room? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Uh, 27. 27. You feel pretty stealth. Uh, dark sight would be handy. It is It is very dark in this room. I know, but I have dark uh, sight. What yeah, have we got? Can I go check the door? Right. Listen to the door. That's what I want to do. You want to go across the room and listen to the door? I'm going to perception this room first, though. <laughs> Give me perception check. Perception. So, like, checking the room? Uh-huh. That's what I was about to do. <laughs> oh, well, you can if you want to. Anybody that wants to can. Oh. What? I would rather check for traps. I want to check for Perception still. I need mean, magic. Investigation questions. is checking for traps. Perception is looking at the room to see if something's funny. Like funny, ha ha. Or... No, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Or cannibal eating a clown. Just perception. Thirteen. Um, doesn't notice anything. Hit me with some of that popcorn. I I only rolled the six, so okay, hurt. Not... Okay, so now can I check for traps? I'm still unconscious, yep, sure. though. No, you you've come around. Oh. at this point, it's 21. been a little... twenty-one. You don't see any traps. Okay, but I didn't see traps when those vines got me either, so. I'd like to uh, take uh, health from him and <laughs> stick it in his mouth. He can feed I'm him. I'm awake yeah, now. Yeah, he's awake now, so he can feed himself his potion if he wants to. As of right now... Since I, I, didn't, I didn't come equipped with a bowl and a spoon, I'm not giving you tomato soup. I'm sorry. As of, <laughs> as of right now, uh, the room is relatively quiet, and it seems to be sealed. So this may be a place to take a short rest. Sounds like a trap. <laughs> Last time we did that, <laughs> I got mauled. I am not taking first watch. I'll take oh. first watch. Did, I get, did I get some monster in my, like some monster energy drinks? Let me invoke the monster energy drinks. So Do you want to be a cow? <laughs> All right, so Claudia's taking first watch. All right, so a short rest is about two hours, or you can take the long rest. The long rest is eight hours. Two hours, warlocks get their spell slots back because they're warlocks. Um, you can spend hit die equal to the number your level is. So uh, your hit die is a d12. Yeah. You can spend up to six d12 if you want to heal yourself. Hmm. So you're only at ten. I'm assuming two or three would probably do it for you. That's optional. You can either take the short rest or take the long rest. The long rest, everybody gets everything back. I say we take the long rest. I mean, we kind of need this. I am not taking second watch. <laughs> So, okay, uh, if you're taking a long rest, you don't have to roll. You'll get it all back. Okay. okay. Uh, no, I'm going to get a short rest because you're going to ambush us. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go ahead and try to pull off a short rest. All right, so the next hour. Plus four. So you can roll as many of those maximum of six. And you don't get them back for a whole day. Uh, that's 11. 11, so you're fine. Okay, so I'm, I'm charged. So he's back up. Um, I'm assuming you're going to... All right, so Claudia's going to take the first watch. I'm saying I only have four hours. Yep. Claudia, so. uh, please make me a perception check on your watch. Fifteen. Fifteen. You don't hear anything. I gave everybody my rolls. <laughs> I like stealth. Sneak. Coming from the other door, other side of the door. Doesn't matter. Gonna Barricade st- the door. You're gonna st- <laughs> You're gonna stealth. Yeah. Give me a stealth check. Everybody's she did still asleep. Stuff. <laughs> I know. Everybody's asleep. Twenty seven. Twenty seven, gone. Ooh, I can do this and not peek the mic. Kinda nice. That's kinda cool. <laughs> Banging 
all wakes you up. Something banging on the stone door. How much, how much sleep did we get, though? Did we make About it? About an hour. Oh. Enough for a short rest. So if you would like to have spent a few hit dice to try to patch yourself up, Vizard, you got your spell slots back at a short rest. Say, I'm full. Uh, wait, this one? Uh, for you is a D10. D10. For What's you our hit point? Old man, yeah. day. D8, I believe. This is a D10, right? Yes. Double pyramid is the D8. I got three. You can roll as many of those as you want, maximum of six. You don't get those dice back until the next day. Do you add anything? No. So three. So max of six. Maximum of six times to heal yourself up. Hold on. It's awkward silence, though. Yeah, we're we're. we're... <laughs> All right, so, so what are we guys? What are we at, guys? Full hill. All right, so I'm up to twenty-seven. That's better than dead. You hear this knocking on the door? Don't answer it. <laughs> it's this ungodly. It, it sounds like if you ripped the creature's throat out and it started screaming this gurgling scream. I'm back up to 62. And then pounding on the door. Don't answer it. I see it in the face. Everyone pops I see up. see it in the face. Listening to... Uh, Rita! Listening. Yeah. So, what is, the, what is the party doing? You don't know how long that door's going to hold. Can we barricade it? Is there any... Like, the boulders that are around, can we barricade no, it to buy us some more time? Nothing but bone shards in this chamber. Blah. And water. Is yeah. there handles on it? Yes. Doors have handles. Does it open from well, I knew that, but what kind of handles? I mean, it, are we talking opens, about that? It opens towards you. Okay. Grab so some of the bones and shove it in between. <laughs> you know, if it buys are us a few more any seconds. Any secret passageways in this room? Any perception check. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You are pretty confident that you do not see any other passages. We're gonna have to fight this thing. Mm -hmm. So, who's opening the door? Uh, Mage Hand. How about Crunk? Hey, before any of y'all, before y'all uh, fight, so head. take. A, I want to see who's gonna uh, who y'all think are gonna uh, go first, like get down first. Oh, Alex, all day, every day. Alex, <laughs> I, I love you to death, but so. <laughs> Kronk, I think it's for you. <laughs> I'm going to use invisibility. Everybody oh, my God. What? Do you have mage hand? Mage hand. I don't mage think hand. so. Nah. You didn't take mage hand? I didn't know about mage hand. <laughs> oh, my God. How bad is that roll? <laughs> Rocks while you all night. I'm fine. He's dead. He's dead. We're good. <laughs> all right. So the doors burst inward. And you see that was a, 14, by a the rather way. alarming <laughs> creature. Along with several other orcs. Ogres, excuse me. I was like, wait I, a minute. Uh, I just sent a picture to our group chat so everybody can have a look at the creature that you see. Okay. And sadly, folks, due to uh, copyright right. stuff, we're trying not to show yeah. images because we don't want this. Holy hell, what the what is what that? Is this thing? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cast invisibility. All right, so <laughs> let me go ahead and try to explain what this looks like. It's purple gargoyle with spiky hair and a trident. And a wings and a tail and a tail. Give me in an arcana check, Vizar, or anybody who uh -huh. is anybody is who is skilled in arcana, which means your bubble is bubbled in. You can make the check as well. Arcana knowledge. It's under intelligence. Oh, cool. Under intelligence, no twelve. Now, if we had a history uh, test, I think I would be doing fine. I don't think you would have. Correct. I don't. I don't. What was yours? Add modifier. You, or? I didn't yes, know it. intelligence. And oh, like that. 18. 18. You, um, you've heard of these. These are something known as spined devils. They are fiends. 
I need a D20 for that invisibility, right? No. Okay. It kicks in automatically, but now I need initiative I need from everybody. It. I want to shoot it. Before initiative this from happens, it. He doesn't see I'm me. I'm going to go for the initiative head. Initiative for everybody, please. D20? Initiative for everybody, please. D20? Yes. Plus dexterity. Plus dexterity? Uh, eight. Uh, dexterity. <laughs> Fuck! You rolled all the good ones out. I told you not to do it. Yeah. There we go, Tim. Oh no! <laughs> was the first time. Don't feel bad. I got eleven. I'm not telling. Okay, I... I'll just put you out as a one. I got an eight. Ah. <laughs> what was it? It was a three. Okay. Wait. So we do oh, this plus our dexterity. Yeah. yeah. That's why I got Freaking eleven. D twenty. <laughs> I got eleven. All right. So Keith, you should have took 11. the virgin Claudia dice. You got a what? Claudia, what'd you get? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Initiative. Oh. For the spined devil and the two ogre, uh, the two ogres that are carrying what looks like what you would breach a door with, a battering ram. Yeah, yeah. Carrying two of, uh, each one of them is carrying one of them. Oh, God. So, they are going to, so the initiative is Claudia, Keegan, Monsters. Visor. Yep. Crank. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Claudia. What are you doing? Jordan. Jordan. Nice. Nice. 26 to hit. 26 definitely hits. Good job. Anything, and I'm tr I don't know how to kill dead air. That's music. That, that's our job. We'll handle that. Thirty-three damage. What, the dead air. The dead air. Yeah. <sighs> I Doctor. I, I knew I should have bumped it up a little bit. Uh, Claudia pops out of her little nook and, and she pulls her arrow back. Let's go right through the skull. Spine devil down. Now there's <laughs> now there's two the two ogres left. What do you like an Claudia, person that, was your that just turn? does the that effects for your, the creatures? Uh, yeah, right through the head and then have. <laughs> She went for the head. That's what we have him for. You had that was your Ooh, action. Was what was doing Wait, what? Like to do? Bonus action. Bonus action. You could get up there and make the sound effects whenever he's like through the head. Considering I'm a door ah. owner, Um. Feet. Did you take the beat? Uh -huh. Can I? How'd you take that? Because I got a feat this round. Mm -mm, you just got expertise. Or last then. round, whatever. I have a feat. Okay. Last time. You're gonna take dual wielder as your feat. Yeah. Okay, that was something. Can I you throw do? a short sword? Short throw, short swords do not have the thrown property, so no. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> you can throw a oh. dagger. Okay. Okay. You add your Did you ever now. pick up your dagger last time? No, she didn't, but I'm assuming she would have. Well, the floor caved in, so it would have went with us anyway. It landed in her way. I have multiple <laughs> daggers. I'm a rogue. <laughs> she's, she's like, I got this. Y'all don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting I have two. Where you been? Oh, on the floor, 18, I remember. 18 does hit. <laughs> he knows the tile of every floor we've been on. <laughs> yep, very clearly. Some of them need more ground. Yep. 11 damage. 11 damage. Yeah. All right, that one is not bloodied. That is, seems to be pretty good health. After Claudia, Keegan. My turn. I'm going to use my silver string bow. It's new. Okay, so... And it gives me plus two on it. All right, so what you do is you roll the d20, add everything you normally would have, and then add plus two on top of all of it. <laughs> yeah. you sure you don't want a different set of dice? I'm probably going to have to. Give him those brown ones. It's okay. Hold on, let me, uh, let me do the, the proper <laughs> thing here and put his dice up. Be respectful of other people's property. Yeah. I'm trying to be, but it, it don't... You have to shake it sometimes. On the plus side, if anyone needs like any extras that... You know, I got those no. cheap ones. <laughs> the fan is stealing my shit. The see-through blue or the solid blue? Those have been ever, none of those have been used, except for the yellows. I like our see-through blue. What'd you do? Tie this? Two little knots. Shouldn't be hard. Oh, okay. You're going to die doing. because of a knot. I know, right? That's going to be really good. I rolled it. <laughs> she, she rolled it. Hold up, wait. 
<laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> and you're going to get to keep it. Ah. <laughs> Roll your own dice. <laughs> yeah. What have you done to me? <laughs> The first arrow shot goes wide. I noticed. <laughs> yeah, one more shot. Oh god. Where are those dice that I just put up? <laughs> All right. So, so second um, shot gone. I don't like this new bow. It sucks. Eleven does not hit. <laughs> so what did you want to roll, Kyle? Now... Like I ended up getting uh, what was it? A one with that. Yeah, it was like a three, a and then three. a six. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, so, after Keegan's turn, uneventful as it was, <laughs> it, is now the, it is now the ogre's turn. I'm glad I used invisibility. Crank? Yep. The ogres recognize you. Yeah. Yeah. They're okay. going after you. <laughs> the t- two ogres come after Crank. They're going to... Uh, they're going to use a bash attack with their battering rams and give you the one, two. That is going to be plus six to hit. What's your AC? AC? 15? Yeah. So they have to roll nine or better. That's a 10. That's a 10. Both of them hit. Okay. You take... So my shit's fucked up. You take 30 HP total. Oh. No. Ooh. If our barbarian goes down for Are you alive? I know. Oh. Yeah, I'm so fine. Okay. He's supposed yeah. to be our shield. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm glad he I... He healed all the way. Yeah. They, uh, so they had to, it was 80 foot, so they had to use their movement of 30 to get 30. And then they used their uh, aggressive trait as yeah. their bonus action and moved uh, 60. And then uh, they actually could not have gotten to you. So you are fine. That was my mistake. Okay, so I'm still <laughs> at 90. Yeah, you are still at 90. All right, they I want are, to invoke Berserker Rage. When it comes to your turn, you can definitely okay. do that. Oh. <laughs> and uh, after the monster's turn, it is Vizard's turn. What color is the tile? Don't go down. <laughs> I, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm saying invisible for now. Uh, if you attack or take another action, it drops invisibility. Yep. You have been warned. Oh, shit. So you got to help. <laughs> Let me use Agonizing Blast on one of them. So Elder's Blast? Yeah. The invocation agonizing blast is just something you do all the time. Oh, okay. So Eldritch Blast, you have two beams at this level. You can roll the D twenty twice. You can either split them or all go to one. We got two to take on. You so have it's to decide a before or after you roll the die. You have to you have to decide before where they're going. Let me let me go for that big ugly fine dude. The fine. the one that hasn't been hurt. Yeah. I'm fucked, but I will. Yeah, <laughs> okay, this... roll two d20s, two attacks, may add your charisma. Bonus. Give us the numbers. Is that a one? That was a five. Okay. Oh, Still God. better than the one. So a five plus your five. Shut up, I rolled a three, okay? Plus your proficiency bonus is 13 total? Yeah. yeah. The ogres have an AC of 14. The first strike misses. Oh. Please roll another one. Really? A four? I think that may exactly be what you need. Four plus five is nine. Plus three. Nope. Nope. Twelve. Nope. Afraid not. Both go wild. Damn. Crank. Crank. Your turn. Watch Crank be the one that can actually Berserker roll the good rage. stuff. I'm invoking Berserker I should have stayed invisible. Crank smash. I was hoping I could do like some healing stuff while invisible. Swole as gold. <laughs> All right. So you, Size of the prize. So His crank forward. juice. Go ahead. I don't know, I'll crank crawl. 19! Ooh, that's definitely gonna hit. Uh, D12? Uh, D12 is this one? Nope. This one. Yep. Switch, Mike. Add four. Add your strength bonus to that. Strength bonus is plus eight. Mm-hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, plus that's four. the skill, just your okay. strength bonus. For okay, plus so five. Eight. Need oh. to figure out which mic's his and turn his up. The All the rest of them are good, but his is a little lower. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Plus five. Plus five. He's, uh, so that, plus five, the black one? Nine. Ignore me, keep going. Nine. Yeah. Plus two more because okay. of your enchanted axe. Okay. So eleven. Right. And you have rage damage because you're raging. So two more on top of that. So thirteen damage. Okay. With your first strike. Are you going after the one that's already been hurt or the one that's at full health? Go Tommy, give us a check real quick. Echo, echo, one, two, one, two. Okay. Do James's, do James's, he's low. Check one, two. 
Check one, two. Okay, that one is uh, about as hurt as the other one is. You have one more attack. All right. Calm down. It's gains a clock, mother... Oh, uh, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> 17. Nice, that's definitely going to hit. Go ahead and roll the d12 yeah. again. And Sorry about that, everybody. We're using new so five, equipment. Yeah, we're on a new five, equipment. Ten. <laughs> plus two for But it also means Kyle can't blow your ears out. Plus two because you're raging. And we can run that that is 14 damage. Same one? Yeah. All right, so what happened? So just re two, two successful strikes on the, the perfectly fine ogre. Nice. Uh, the ogre is not bloodied. Uh, that is the end of Crank's turn. Next turn, he'll be able to uh, swing three times. And that will go back to the start of the initiative. Claudia, it's your turn again. You are not snelfed. Oh, oh, not anymore. <laughs> All right, so that was your one on your strike, I'm assuming. <laughs> Wait, yeah. she finally got a bad roll? I know. Yeah. That was her wow. first one. No, that was her second one. No. Uh-huh, because you, you had that... 20 that I made you re-roll and it was a 1. I would know. That I watched was, the stream like five times. a roll with the finesse. Thank you. Nope. I'm trying to rub anyway, your belly for good luck. Anyway, <laughs> so bonus action. Throw a dagger. 14 plus your pluses. Look, I'm rubbing 21. my own belly for 21 definitely hits. And if you're going after the one Crank is assaulting, then you'll be able to get sneak attack because he's harrying the target. I'm assuming okay. that's what you would do. Yeah. Do I get to do that with the bonus <laughs> action? S sneak attack applies to the first attack that hits. Okay. Yeah, this sounds much better. Yeah, we can. What did you do? A lot. Okay. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> DM might have messed himself just a little bit on that one. Somebody doesn't have a bad day. Do what? That one Someone had 32 HP left. Day. It is dead. There is one more ogre left. Keegan! Oh, God. <laughs> kill it, kill it, kill it. Don't let me die. All right, I'm going to use the silver string bow plus two again. Okay, sure. roll to hit. Don't roll that <laughs> keep, keep track of your arrows. <laughs> oh. That you was... are got to be kidding me. Is that me. a one? It's a one. No. <laughs> roll again because you have your second attack. <laughs> shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. The bad luck has shifted to that corner. It's five. Five. Yeah. Take this and fill in the 20s with the layout so it'll be a little heavier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's your, what's your dexterity bonus? Plus four, so five, My. so nine, plus your proficiency, 10, 11, 12, plus two more. Uh, Hold 14? on, slow down. So I have three in dexterity. In and bust his lip. <laughs> fill in the one because it's opposite of 20. All right, you so fill in the 20, it's gonna roll in. I had a five. <laughs> I have the eight from the dexterity. Uh, do I use proficiency bonus? Yes, to hit. Yes. In the one? I'm loading these. Dogs. So I have eleven. All right. So oh, your dexterity, your dexterity is three. Dexterity is three yeah. plus what you rolled yeah. plus proficiency. Yeah. So, so that would be eleven. Not really. Eleven, and you have oh, a right. two oh, right. yeah. because so. your enchanted bow. So thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen yeah. just misses. I'm so close, y'all. Yep. Sorry, <laughs> misses by one. Oh my God! Uh, okay. Did you add plus two. Yeah, yeah. He added everything he was supposed to. After that, it is the ogre's really turn again. More Am I still in berserker rage? You are, and it is his. I don't know. It is his turn. James has tainted you. most okay. of those. Yeah. And I ain't taking the purple ones because that was Alex's last game. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, blue, purple, yellow, that's red. That's a ten plus six. That's the a sixteen. One that does hit. You had a green set. You take a fifteen. Uh, no, actually, you take a uh, seven oh, bludgeoning damage because you I'm are resistant the green, a green set now that you are raging. Oh, is that the okay. ones I passed to you? So you no, take this is seven. Tommy's. Uh, this is a black set. Uh, all right. All right. That is the end of the ogre storm. <laughs> um, yeah. That's gonna be it. After uh, after the monsters is Vizard's turn. I got an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna try the Eldritch Blast one more time. Eldritch. Maybe I can take at least one of them now. Eldritch Blast. It's only. Yes. He's just one good round. How are you doing? Pretty good. I need you to be more vocal. Me more vocal? Are we sure about yes. this? Are we sure? These are the ones I used last game, yeah. and I did okay. Does that be 17? 17 definitely hits. Go ahead and roll your second one. Oh my god, 
hits. So little. It is in a good one. That's what she <laughs> said. Oh, God. 16, 16 it's also cursed. hits. So it's please cursed. roll 2d10. <laughs> 2d10 uh, and remember to oh add your charisma bonus to the damage because you have agonizing blast Two ones. Jesus Christ an earthquake Ooh. just happened what was that, that was a- are we in California <laughs> too soon too soon <laughs> I'll just throw that other one just a little more. Hey, is it too soon to make uh, That's cathedral jokes three? now? Oh, I got it. It's good still one. a little soon double on that zero one. Double zero is ten. Oh, it's double zero is ten? Double zero is ten. So thirteen on and then... Note. Thirteen plus five. Move? So eighteen. Eighteen. By the eight. way, did we set a timer for this? No. Nope. I have a timer we down went, here. We went live right at two. Yeah. Started. It should. There should be yeah. live at the bottom no. of the screen tells you our recording time. Yeah, yeah we're we're at two thirty five and we're at thirty five minutes. Yeah, let us okay. let us know so, when we hit the two, close to the two hour mark. Yeah, I'll let y'all know about right. ten minutes so, before. So the uh, yeah. both Eldritch blasts land home, knocking the ogre back a half foot and taking quite a serious wound, but he is still up. I finally hurt something. Crank. Other than yourself. <laughs> Other than myself. <laughs> he he doesn't Crank. know what this tile looks like. He's gonna hit him. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, dude, because I had to wake up here. Oh, yeah, that's right. And you get three attacks this turn. Five. Five plus five. That's ten. Eleven, twelve. Plus my, because of my axe, right? Mm Mm-hmm, two more. Because your axe. Eighteen. So what was the first one? Was it total twelve? Yeah. Okay, so eighteen is definitely going to hit. Jamie rolled a high number. One more to see if the third one hits. No one. Okay, so roll one d12 and add your bonuses. That went all the way around the world. So <laughs> add your strength. Four plus five, it's nine. Nine plus two because you're raging. Eleven. Plus two because of your axe. Thirteen. Thirteen damage. All right. Please tell me it's dead. Please tell me it's dead. This creature is bloodied. All oh, that shit. poor drop of blood. <laughs> Claudia, it's your turn. Bleed. What would you like to do? So I'm going to try and shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. That, shoot him. That'll do it. What do we got? Sixteen. 24. 24 definitely hits. Aww. She said, aww. <laughs> she says aww, and, but everybody else rolls really bad. And she's one that rolls really good. <laughs> it must be really bad then. <coughs> 22, 10. 22. Damage. 22 damage. That is one dead ogre. Thank God. Not you, so odd. You all loot. You all start to catch your breath, and then you remember the sounds and the bones that you heard before. As two bone snakes rise out of the corpses. Oh, shit. What the crap? And start looking at you. Ah, oh, shit. Not again. So now we're on the other end going, can I, us. Can I make an animal handling check? And that check? is a uh, 20 for their initiative check, which will put them <coughs> before Keegan. Animal handling check? Can I have pets? Um, these are undead. No. Sounds like a cool pet. Hellhounds. You ain't got to worry about feeding it. Okay, feed. so Claudia, what would you like to do with the rest of your turn? Animal handling check. I'm afraid not. She's like, please. What's that for? Bonus action. Throw a dagger? Yeah. Okay. 24. 24. That hits. Please roll damage. I hope. 11 damage. Okay. It's fine. I don't uh, like 11 sounds. damage. I don't like how he goes, oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. No. So, Tommy, can we know how much uh, health these... <coughs> Oh, uh, I don't think we're supposed to know. So okay. But I'm assuming due to size. You took 11? Is that what you did? 11? Yeah. A lot of damage. Got it. A lot of health. All right. And when, there's two. When your oh. DM says, ah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So after Claudia, it is now the Bone Naga's turn. Oh, shit. Both of them. Wait, so where is everybody standing is the real question. Um, Crank has rushed off to the middle of the room where the ogres were. Uh huh. Uh, Claudia and Keegan are, I'm assuming, close to where Vizard are at a distance. I don't know where she is. She keeps disappearing. <laughs> okay. Uh, as far as I know, Claudia has not moved from okay. nearby. Um, so, it is there. now the Bone Naga's turn. In memory. 
Let's see. There's four of you. Bonus. Let's just pick it randomly. <laughs> okay. I don't want to die. Keegan. Oh, oh God. What? Visar. Oh. Shit. Both oh, of no. these two bone nagas lurch out with lightning speed and are both going to give you a bite attack on both of Jump you. backwards. Shadows? Jump backwards. Has to be your turn to cast that. You got to remember to oh, do I that. Jump backwards. Uh, Reaction, reaction is uh. Oh, is a reaction. Oh, no, no, it's reaction. No. Wait, it's I have a shield. Will. You have you have the shield, which I have a shield. Did you did you add your shield bonus to your AC? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, fine. you told me to. Okay, I thought so. Okay, reaction? so it is a plus five to hit from the bite attack mm. from the bone nagas. I think counter spells the only reaction thing I have. And you have uh, you have uh, hellish rebuke if you take damage. Oh, oh. Fifteen Vizard, that's going to hit you. Go alive a little longer. Eight plus five, that is thirteen. That is not going to hit throw Keegan. That now. Um, so, Keegan so lives. Yeah, you hellish rebuke. Um, <clears throat> Vizard takes ten piercing damage and ten poison damage, and you can uh, use hellish rebuke if you would like. And my shield saves me. Yeah. Okay, so how's hellish rebuke work? Uh, you go to cast it, and then, uh... Yeah, select one. cast. No. <laughs> okay, so... You hit um, the star button. It has to make a dexterity saving throw, or take 2d10 fire damage. So go ahead and roll that for me. 2d10? 2d10. It's dexterity save. It's not please, oh, please, oh, please, be like a 99. Can you roll a 99? Yeah, 99 That'd be probably, uh, but at least 30, ain't one. No. percentile dice. No, that's thirteen. Hey, we're gonna fight 13. Leash. We're gonna fight any leash in this. Leash, leash, leeches, leeches. Yeah, no, not yet. Leeches, <laughs> leeches. That's leeches. thirteen. <laughs> Definitely. You're gonna fight yourself. Plus five is eighteen. Sitting there hitting. Yeah, because it's a fire spell. So yes. That's how he rages um, you, himself. So eighteen. Yeah. I've got the bone naga made his save with a natural twenty, so he takes half of that. So he takes nine damage. I actually hurt something again. Thirty-six. After the bone naga's turn. Keegan! <laughs> Sorry, I quit doing that. This is too fun. I could totally see him just like freaking out every time you taste time to come in. Don't fail me now. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. I guess I'm gonna try one more time with this bow. If not, I'm selling it on Crunk looks ye old a eBay. Sleepy over there. <laughs> you need like some grade A virgin blood to drip on that bow know, right? just to be like <gasps> oh, 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 is that a twenty? Oh, it's a, no, it's a ten, but I'll take it. It's better than the three. <laughs> um, if everyone would like to check their messenger, there's a new picture oh, holy there. Hell. Oh my god! Oh. Can I have one as a pet? No. Oh. These right, things so are about ten foot long. Oh, I want great. one. So thirteen, sixteen, hey, are you plus in the two. Thing? Do what? Are you in the? I have, I have yeah. eighteen. Eight. Huh? It's dexterity, yeah. uh, dexterity, proficiency bonus plus two. Yes. So. So 18? 18. 18 definitely hits. <gasps> Please go ahead and roll damage. There, remember, there are two. Are you going after the one that's unharmed or the one that's already taken a beating? Help me out. Help uh, me I wish out. you would have asked me that ahead of time, and I could have thought of that. Um, Help me out. Which one's near you? The one that's damaged. I'll get the one that's there's, damaged. There's one right on you, and there's one right on him. If you choose to attack the one in front of you, it's going to be a disadvantage. So I'm assuming you're going I'm, after I'm going to help him since I used the arrow. Okay. All right, so I have to keep the healer alive. So 1d8 plus your dexterity plus D8. 2. d8. This is... Yep. d8. 1 plus 2 plus your dexterity. Plus 2 plus dexterity, which is 3, so that's 6. 6. Got it. He's bloodied now. You're welcome. Oh, that for a drop of blood. <laughs> All right. So that, was, was, sec- that was my first shot. That was your first shot. So go ahead and roll the second one. I'm assuming you're still going after his. That's a 1. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> Keegan, Keegan, Keegan. It veers off. Hits a lantern. (laughs) All right. Nope. So after Keegan are the two bone nagas. They're going to both go after you again. Wait a minute. No, No, wait. Uh, It came before me. I'm sorry. I have monsters from the ogres on my list. Okay. (laughs) Vizard, it's your turn. Heal. Uh, heal. Yeah, heal. good point. Uh, which one is that? The uh, I'll remember which one is the healing one eventually. Healing light. 
Oh, yeah, healing light. There we go. It's the one that says healing in it. So <laughs> you don't have to roll for healing light. Oh. However, you choose, uh, you have five D6s. You choose any number of them to a maximum of three, and whoever you choose he within 30 feet gets that healing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need healing okay. bad. So you're using three? You can only use a maximum of three. You can pick one, two, or three, but the max you can use is three at a time. I better go three because I need to play. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Why can't they have more rolls like that? 15. That's a 15. 15. Uh, yes, that is, that is your, that's what you heal. All right, so that was your bonus action. You have an action. Since that is not a spell, you can cast a spell as an action. Oh. I'm finally getting you, back. You, I'll give you the uh, benefit of the doubt. I'm assuming you want to cast Armor of Shadows. Yeah. I don't want to die, so yeah. I'm going to go with the Armor of so Shadows. So your armor class now is 14. No, I have to roll. Oh, okay. No roll. <laughs> okay. That is uh, Visard's action and bonus action. You can attempt to move out of their way, but when you leave their melee range, they'll get a free strike on you. It's up to you. You can either nah, get out. I'll stay put. Okay. After Visard. Crank. Two fucking bone snakes. What do you do, bro? Are they in close proximity to each other? Actually, you're they're in the middle. They're like 15, like, they're, yeah, they're yeah. right beside each other. Yeah. Not. So they're out. back to back. No, 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 no. To, wait, they are back to back because yeah. he's on one side of the room. I'm on the other side of the room. That means that they would be facing like this, and you are in the center of the room. Yeah. You are behind them. You tie their tails together. I'm, I'm just, going to. <laughs> all right. So they're <laughs> facing him, you're fa and one's facing you. Right. And we're I'm on the opposite. the center of the room. She is next to me, supposedly. Oh, you're in the middle? Okay. Like, I was I'm the going middle of to. You guys. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run, bounce off the wall, grab one by its neck, and throw them into the other. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. That sounds like some high roll numbers, dude. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of stuff to go on, but here's what I'll say. Okay. It'll take both of your attacks. Okay. You'll have to make an athletics check to bounce off the wall. And oh, then shit. That's right. I'm a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Said, you are ra you, you're raging, so you'll have an advantage on that. Okay. How uh, about instead of bouncing off the wall, I just run, grab one, and throw them into the other one? Like ragdoll his ass. Okay. So the first attack will be a grapple. The second okay. attack will be a throw. Okay. So that's what will have to go. So go ahead and roll your first. 18. 18. Ooh. That hits Ooh. the armor class. So okay. now he has to do nice. a strength there we go. against you to... Re to uh, <laughs> not be grappled. So please roll a d20 and add your your athletics, which right. you have advantage on because you're raging. 14. With advantage, roll it again and take the higher. Okay. 3, I'm taking so, 14. So 14, <laughs> add your athletics, which is right here, somewhere. Athletics. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's right there. Acrobatics? Yeah, athletics. Athletics, plus 8. Plus 8. So four, no, 14, was it? The yeah. first one? Yeah. 14 plus 8. 22? Yeah. Okay. He has uh, a plus two bonus to his strength. He literally would have to roll a natural 20 to avoid being grappled by okay. you in the situation. Okay. That's a 15. You grappled him. For your okay. second attack, make an athletics check to throw him and, and to see where it lands. All right. Throw him! Throw him! Throw him! You have advantage. Shit. You, you got this, advantage. Crump. You Boy. jinxed him. You, you have jinxed advantage. Him. Roll it again. Take the higher. All right. Four. Four plus. Athletics. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 <coughs> twelve. Yep, that's it. Twelve. Plus I'm raging. Mm, you, that, that gives you advantage. Okay. That let you roll okay. again. Okay. Um, he's going to see if he can keep grounded. Ooh, what was your total? Man. <laughs> he's like, don't make me do 12, math again. Twelve. 12. That is a 15. Oh. You, you, you have him grapple, but you go to pick him up, and he just, like, wraps around your legs. Okay. Mm. But you still have him. He can't go anywhere. So basically, now. you did the chokehold that I did that night at the bar. It was like, <laughs> yeah. My question, was that the one that was attacking me or the one that was attacking him? So currently, Actually, in its it would position, be mine, it has disadvantage it? on all Who's strikes because you're, you, are, have, you have it grappled. Okay. Who's so, he grabbing? Mine he or, his? or his? Which one did you? Uh, in my mind, I grabbed his. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so, so it's bloodied, Crank, being grappled. Crank runs up, and, and as, as this thing's biting on Vizard, it just, like, reaches around and just, like, pulls it back and is holding it up. <laughs> All right, so after Crank's turn, Claudia. It's like, get off my friend, man. Shoot him in the head, Claudia. <laughs> shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Get it. Finish it. <laughs> Finish it. Finish it. That does hit. Which one are you getting? 
At least I didn't take any damage. <coughs> I mean, he's holding it still. I'm holding him. He's right there. If um, if you're shooting his, you actually get advantage because he's grappled. So see if you get a crit. Like, I'm squeezing pretty nope. hard. So 14 plus. That was a 21 to hit. That, yeah, and that's a yeah. Hey, she went, he went, yeah, yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> now I'm the only one left in trouble. 35 damage. I think the snake is hurting that no first more. That Bonaga shatters into uh, skeletal ribs and bone fragments. Yeah. And just, just Hides behind shield so it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Crank crawl. Bonus action. Okay. Throw a dagger. Throw a dagger. All right. Um, go ahead. Roll the hit. Six to hit. That does hit. Ten damage. Ten damage. Yeah, that definitely. Yeah. Okay. Got it. He's like, oh god. <laughs> got it. Okay. Now that we got the die situation uh, settled, it's it's I'm becoming a better harder. game. I wish I could have thrown it. That would have been a great. I'm gonna try. I know that would have been cool. I'm gonna have to try harder. There's one left, and after Claudia, it's the Bone August turn. The last one. You watch as the skeletal jaw unhinged, and these. This one's on you, dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I help you, and y'all just like good luck. Mine's dead, and I didn't take any damage, so I'm gonna you know, like if it comes around to me, I'll. I'll if I, yeah. if I'm not dead. <laughs> Just so you know, I have one health potion left in my pack, so if you got to... I'll shove one of mine down your throat if I have to. Appreciate it. Or Come you on. could just steal it. So, you know. Already got it planned out. His mouth opens up in this string of uh, syllables and this unknown tongue starts spewing forth and his body starts writhing with electricity. Can I it's use it. history to understand that? It's not a, it's not a language. Uh, it's a spell. Oh, ooh, great. Could I use my counter spell to help him? Or does it have to be on me? Keegan, I need a dexterity saving throw, please. Actually, yeah, only you. That's a natural one. Oh, it is. is it Why really? did you open your mouth? Because <laughs> it had already stopped. So you rolled a one, I actually Kyle? need that one. That's a one. Irish. Off the table doesn't count. Oh, but it's a one. I'm going to put this out in the open. I see what she did there. I, didn't do I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Oh. oh, that was a six. No, it wasn't. No, it was a four. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 27, 30. You take 30 lightning damage. Ow. Thank God I healed. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. I am down to 32 people. Hey. You should be like, um... You're still 10 more than me. I don't want to hear it. commentator. <laughs> and now, he took... All right. He took major ouchies and boo-boos. <laughs> he took major ouchies the and boo-boos. The Bone Naga took its turn to cast Lightning Bolt. <laughs> he lit <laughs> my world up. <laughs> After he Bone Naga Keegan, fire. it is your turn. That was not fun. No, it was not, and I'm 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 peeved. Dude, that was shocking. It, very. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my sword out, and I'm gonna try to slice this fucker in half. You are with, uh, you're I, not grappled, so that is fine. Go ahead and roll to hit. It is. Don't fail me. One. One. Four. Four. There was a crease in the. Uh, <clears throat> not. Um. Four plus. Uh, I, that would use strength, so plus five. So that would be nine. So twelve. Twelve. The armor class of the Naga is fifteen. Ah! Roll again. Bounces. Eleven. That probably will hit. Yeah. Actually, so that's that sixteen. Hit. So go ahead and roll damage. Nineteen. Nineteen. This one. Longsword. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it is a D eight. Yeah, I think it's a. It's a one-handed sword. I remember that. Longsword is a D eight. Yep. Go ahead. So this one. Yep. Add that's your strength nice. bonus. Three. And that's it. Plus the five. So eight. Yeah. All right, got it. <clears throat> Did it split it in half? Nope. Oh. Keegan, you have a bonus action. If you want, you could use healing. You could use uh, ba 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 black sheep. Um, about black sheep. You could either use a healing potion or second wind, or you could choose to use action surge and then hit it two more times if you're lucky. It's your choice. You could also remember you can use precision attack when you declare that you want to attack and get a free D8 to add to it. All right, so... And remember, you have Booming Blade as well. 
Booming Blade. I don't remember Booming Blade. If they move willingly, they take uh, 2d8 additional damage. Yeah, uh, I do have Firebolt. Firebolt is an action. Yeah, I know. And I, wait, I can't take an action. Wait, yes, if I can. If you take Action Surge, you can throw a Firebolt at it. But instead of two strikes, it would be one Firebolt. Uh, I will, I don't know. Something tells me this one's almost dead. So I don't see the point. Although, kill it. All right, fine. I'll take action <laughs> surge. I'll take action surge. Shoot it. Action surge. Are you going to hit it, it two more times? Uh, Yeah. All right, roll to hit, please. Right, and I can... What if I use second wind as well? Can I yes. do that? Yes, second wind is your bonus action. Action surge is a free action. What was the one you were saying? Add a, an, an extra eight? That is your precision attack. Whenever you make an attack, you can choose to do that, but you only have so many D8s that you can spend to do that. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? All right, so you're going to do a precision attack? Yeah, so... All right, so take your D20 and add... Take the eight and roll them both at the same time. So these two? Yep. So what is that total? Uh, the D20 got an eight, and the other one got an eight. So there's 16 right there. Add your stuff. 16 plus strength. Yep. So that's five. 21. Yeah, that's 21. Wait, that's a D10. So this one? Yep. What's the time looking like? That's a 10. That's a 10. We are at 55 so minutes. So 18. Okay. Not bad. 23. 23. Uh, 23 does hit. Please roll the D8 for damage and add the 10 that you get from that. That's a D10 as well that you rolled. <laughs> Keegan. <laughs> Give me a minute. Yes. I'm learning the die. That's a three. three. So add three to your damage. Okay. So. Take that eight. Wait. Okay, so strength plus that, right? Yes. Okay, so that would be five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And eight we can damage. tell. All right, got it. Keegan that was not, your is not good strike? at math. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I'm, I'm trying to understand what he's talking about. That was about. your first yeah. strike, so please roll again. If you, uh, you can only, yeah, that's a D10, not a D8. Oh. The little one. Five. So five plus fifteen. Mm -hmm. That's definitely gonna hit. Please roll damage. It's a D eight plus the five that you. The one that's got. sitting out there. <laughs> that's a D ten, Keegan. Wait. The D eight is the double pyramid. <laughs> Six. Six plus the five that you have from four is an so eleven, 11. <laughs> plus your strength. Don't make you mad. The five 16. is the strength. Sixteen. I know. What I'm saying is when you roll the D eight with when you do a precision attack, whatever you get. On the D8 also goes to damage. Oh, well. So it's 11 plus. That's five. why I was getting confused earlier. 16? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? You're getting confused those numbers. No, he's like, I, <laughs> I didn't know it added on automatically. That's what was confusing me. So I was doing the regular and not the add on plus. That's what confused the shit out of me. This bone dog is not looking so good. <laughs> That is the end of Keegan's turn. Tide's art, it is your turn. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Let's see if I can mess it up. All right, go for it. Please die. It's a four. Four. Four plus five from your charisma, plus proficiency. So nine, so 12. 12 does not hit. They say he's a good DM. He knows everybody's numbers. Just about. Most of them. You have two hits. You have, oh, you, yeah. yeah, you have two beams with Eldritch Blast, so roll again. Please die. Three. Three. Three plus five is eight, plus three more is 11. <laughs> 11 is not hit. Damn. Crank, it's your turn. Crank. Smash him. All right. The Crank last smash. one. Do you have two more dice of your healing light? As a bonus action, you could spend those if you want. Yeah, I might need to do that. Yeah, right here. <laughs> okay. So How much do you want to He's going to go ahead and do that in the back. What are you okay. doing? What I'm going to do. Ah! I'm going to yes! twelve. We'll never have that. Whatever one. ogres do, I'd say run, but probably walk briskly. <laughs> Climb up the back of the other one. Okay. Grab it in its eye sockets. Okay. Because it's bone, right? Yep. That will never happen yeah. again. That would be an unarmored unarmed strike. Okay. So it would be if you managed it. <coughs> so if you would roll to hit, mm -hmm. you wouldn't add your axe because it's, you're not using it. Right. So it would be strength, and then the damage will be five. It'll be six damage because it's okay. five plus one. So if that's what you want to do, you can do that. I mean, could it, it could rip its skull in half, correct? Maybe. Okay. 
20. Natural 20. 20 yeah. And natural 20. In a crit, <laughs> that doubles the damage to 12. The Bone Naga had exactly 12 HP left. He reaches up. Just snap. <sighs> <laughs> Woo! Got I, I need a sip of water. He smashed it. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God, Jesus. We're alive. Barely. I, I probably that, shouldn't have that. That pretty much tops the the fastball <laughs> special I pulled in the one that we played years and years ago. Uh, just, I was like I amazed, like but it was like guys. overpowered, like yeah. the ogres, I had the giant, yeah, whatever he was, like, like he was ogre. Throw my yeah, guy into the other guy scouts. and push no. knock him into the their scouts are like five times the size. Okay, of... could I like cookie cutter them into goblin scouts? Probably not. Sure. I can, like, trace the you had the same guy thought guy. I did. Get, I let's go get the, the scouts from the earlier fight. I want to loot the snakes. Uh, the snakes. Snakes don't really have anything. Yeah. On. Snakes don't have pockets, but the uh, the ogres have pockets. I'll loot the ogres. Yeah, yeah let's loot the ogres. Can I take their fangs. I want their fangs. You want the bone naga fangs? Yeah. Okay, so you you do like a black mama, grab it by the back of the head, just pull it out. Okay, so give me a, give me a survival check to not hurt yourself on the fangs. So who's investigating the ogres? Me. You're investigating. I'll join him. I'll, All right. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll look. We'll 16. see what we can find. Okay, one of you roll an investigation check with advantage, one of you don't, because <laughs> Crank is helping one of you look. <laughs> I'm just like, whoever needs help. 16. Thanks. 16, you, you extract the fangs without a problem. All right, so wait, I'm looking for investigation? Yes. That's a plus two. Five. Five? That sucked. You're you have helping. advantage? Did you, you I guess you're helping higher? me. Oh, that was once. Yeah. Hmm? I guess you're helping me. Well, huh, well yeah, uh, yeah, he well, just took so. it. Man, investigation. Uh, 15. 15. Keegan, what'd you get? I got an 18 plus 2, <laughs> so 20. Okay, so Keegan, on the one you find, um, there's the battering ram, which is a melee weapon. It's pretty big. If Crank wanted it, he probably could use it. It's up to him. Crank? Crank. Just, just a moment. Here, Crank, get a new toy. Okay. Um,. You find a small pouch containing 30 gold pieces. I will keep that. Visegard, you don't find anything in the pockets. However, you immediately recognize that the ogre is wearing a pair of gauntlets that, is, that have a arcane shimmer to them. Ooh. All right, Give so me an arcana check to identify. Uh, by the way, Crank, there is a... Uh... There's a weapon that you could use. What is it? Oh, the battering ram. The battering ram. That's never yeah. happened to you. You want it? Yeah. What is it? I found, I found it for you. <coughs> Let me write this down. Okay. Um, 20 Vise and then another six arcana, so yeah. 26. Visegard, you, Im uh, you immediately recognize these as gauntlets of ogre power. Ooh. Anybody who wears <coughs> them, their strength becomes 19 if it is Ooh. not already 19. Ooh. Um, Crank has 20. I Keegan have tw has 20. Yeah. So So one of you, if they wanted it, your strength Which one is the weakest 19. out of you two? Who do you think? <laughs> what do you have as a strength? Uh, My brain got to go is, make uh, pee pee. It's at the top. Right. At the top. Go enjoy your, uh, go enjoy your visit to the oh, show. Oh, I'm sorry. 10. Oh, yeah. I guess so. What are you rocking? 11. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a neck and neck so right now. It's it's whatever. Technically, They're, they are there. I could pickpocket him if I wanted to. Ooh, she really wants some gloves. No, you can have them. I think. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you trade some scalps. Well, trade some. Technically, are they more for just boosting the physical attributes or any magic? Only to physical. Only if physical I were you, attacks. I'd hand them off to her. Or yeah. or picking something up or shoving something. Your physical strength. Because you're more of a yeah, magic. You benefit more from the me, so. <laughs> so all right, so Claudia has gauntlets of ogre strength. We're we're a team community. You'll yeah. have to take a short. Uh, hey, you found something, gave it to him. I found something, was like, well, shit, they ain't gonna help my magic, so <laughs> we'll give it to little sister here. You're gonna okay. have to take a short rest to attune to something. Attuning is what you do, which I'm gonna go ahead and say that you already did it because you've been using your magic weapons this entire time. Attuning is a process of creating a link with a magical item. You can only attune to three items. That is your maximum. So, at, you you are attuned to your silver string bow. Okay. You have two attunement slots left. 
you're attuned to the short sword, hmm. you have two attunement slots left. Hmm. Claudia isn't attuned to anything, this would be her first attunement. So, there's that. So it'll take a short rest to attune to those. Huh. All right, so... Do we get our health back for the rest? You have to... I'm, you're, I'm assuming you're going to try to rest again? Yeah. Well, we haven't gotten a rest since we left the village, <laughs> technically. Hey, so can are... I ask a question for everybody? Sure. What is y'all's, like, max HP? Crank has 90. Crank has my, 90? My max HP right uh, now is 72. Now, uh, this is something we actually did not state 92. when we started this episode. We ended up leveling up. All four of us have leveled up. We are all level sixes now. So mine has gone up to 72, but right now my health is at 32. So yours is 72. Like, it's how much max is your max? Yeah, that's as max as I can go is 72. Okay. What about, what about yours? 50. <laughs> so you only go up to 50. You yeah. only go up to 50. And Claudia? 55. I want to kind of keep track so I can... You know. Look at him going above and beyond. I know, right? <laughs> man, I think we definitely picked the right man for being the okay. man in the box. Um, can can y'all go through? Are y'all fizzing? Is there any resting? It's about to be a rest. Is it? Okay, I'll wait for that and then we'll... Because right that. now I'm sitting at 32 health. I've got to get at least four hour rest. See, I can so put your... Claudia so. took the first uh, watch. Are you going to try to take another watch? I guess. Okay, give me a... Well, whose health is the lowest? Probably Visegard. Uh, 34, 32. Uh, I'm still at max health, so... Oh, okay, yeah. then. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> it doesn't matter, because so, I, I go invisible without a spell. <laughs> Claudia, please give me a <laughs> that was perception slight. check as you take your long rest. Of course she does. The party is going to take a long rest after the fight. Or try to take the same long rest. Okay. Wait, have y'all ever taken a long rest? We have tried ambushed? twice, yeah, and we've been have ambushed ambushed never, ever, never, we've successful. Never, never successful. Never successful. All right, so a twenty-six on the perception check. Oh, just take out her, take her out, <laughs> shoot her. Shoot her. I, I roll around in my sleep a little bit. Apparently, twenty-six. You do not hear oh or see God. anything in the chamber. Not a snuggler. <laughs> well, Kyle is definitely a snuggler. Um. You in this scenario, you oh, take yeah. your two hours watch and nothing happens. Who do you wake up? Uh, wake up the strong one. Yeah, sure. Why not? Crank. So, did my hit points restore? Mm -mm. It's only been two hours. Uh, well, actually, if we're going to do that, then I'm going to get him because he's got four hours. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. If you interrupt Keegan's sleep now, he won't get his trance. If you let one person go before him, when they're done, I mean, he'll I'm have still his trance. Something happens. Because I'm an he elf, I technically meditate. I don't yeah. sleep. Right. I, but I have my my long hours. rest is four hours. You, you can only my take short two rest hours is two. As my part of a long rest. are at eighty two. So I'm I'm at thirty two. Okay. I'm at thirty two. You could run out. You could be exhausted. You could become exhausted. You could still become exhausted. Bizarre. What is your health right now? Thirty four. Bad. Yeah, that's what JC can do. Which we can, we can like run down after a battle whose hit points is what. Yeah, I'm on it already. Is it on? Is it right? on the screen really? for okay. people to see? No, I can't. No, actually, yes. I can switch and over, and it'll be those two cameras. Lets get and it'll be this over here. What I have okay. pulled up. So who are you waking up? I can do that. Do you I'll want me to? Crank, 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 crank! You have been woken up, sir. All right. He said, "All right," and walks away. You want me to roll for you? Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Alright, so give me a perception check. Sorry, I'm having to do triple duty. As you're watching the room to make sure nothing spooky dookie happens. Spooky dookie. Hey guys, let's, let's, let's split Roll it up. Alright, and Claudia, what's your uh, 19. health? 19. 19? Yeah, right 55. now. Is your full health right you, now. Right you now. Full health right you, now. Okay. you sit up for two hours making sure nothing happens. I'm assuming somebody goes and closes the door at some point. Yeah. Um, That's the first thing I do. <laughs> no, nothing happens in your two hour break. Who do you wake up? Four hours. All right, Keegan. Because Keegan, Keegan, that, that are, would give me four hours, correct? You, are, yeah. you have finished your long rest. So yeah. I I can stay awake. So I'm going to wake up Kegels. 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 Keegan, please make me a perception check please as a part of wake up the uh, Kegels. as a part of you watching for the night. Yes, sir. And that is a D20. Yes, D20 plus perception. No. I got a ten. Perception. So when do we fight the demigorgon? Right. I mean, you can if you really. What about a dragon? So I got I got thirteen. So that's just fire. with the perception and the roll, right? Yes. 
Okay, so that would be 13. You don't notice anything. You, you sit up for two more hours, looking around, listening intently. Nothing happens. Okay. Visegard's turn. Oh, shit, what? It's your turn to take watch. Oh. Everybody else is gone. The last time he took watch. Yeah, it went Don't so well. Me. I got ragdolled. <laughs> and then he got to stare at the floor for most of the battle. Please. Please. 19. 19. And he, said, he said that shit ain't happening twice. <laughs> I'm not even going to jinx myself. So that's 21. 21. Twenty-one. You spend two hours watching. You uh, freaked out from the last time you were taking watch. <laughs> looking PTSD. around. He's under the snuggle blanket of safety. <laughs> Every time someone snores, you, you look. So he's got a little PTSD here. <laughs> Nothing happens. Tyler here would have done a snore, you know. The, the night goes by uneventful. You all, you all managed to get a <laughs> Nobody night. died from dysentery? Nobody died from dysentery. <laughs> okay, he punched me, I punched him back. He's dead now. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, let me... My uh, sitting up and like, here's a <laughs> sl- uh, snoring. Hulk and Thor. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I pictured it. <laughs> just see, you just see feet hanging out from the wall. That's all it is. Just dangling. So, like, my character's tail and legs just... James hasn't even woken up yet, and he wakes up. We just see feet dangling from a broke wall. Just be like, what happened? He woke me up. <laughs> all right, so you all managed to finish a nice long rest. Your HP is back to its maximum. Those of you who have expense spells, one of you, uh, all of your spells are back. You have your healing pool back. Yes. Um, your health is maximum. All of your one sedate abilities are back recharged. Okay. Now I get to turn up the heat. Mm. Please don't. We right. just got that air conditioner going. going. <laughs> this right. is what their health is right now. So, so uh, can we do a health check real quick? I mean, I'm at 72. 50. You're at what? Uh, I'm at 82. 90. You oh, I'm 90? Out. Yeah, you got your health back. Okay. 55. Your maximum is 90. All right. All right. It's easy racers. That's so. what I got. <laughs> that way, that way know, you're, you're good. <laughs> Apparently they don't do well after they melt and mm. reform. How many racers? I'm good. I'm used to suffering. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I don't drink. How we water. How are we looking on time? Y'all are good. Okay. All right. Hour so, eleven. Okay. Huh. Hour eleven in. We're doing good. Okay. Right. I just want to check something. Okay. Check something All right. So you all come to stretch. Bone cracks everywhere. Bone cracks. What is the party doing now? Uh, you know what? I kind of want to check the walls, the doors, or I want to check everything around me. Uh, you got a perception check the room again? Well, I mean, no, we've already That was it. good thinking. But the way he's doing that. We have really? to send Showing someone to open the door. Sleep. Someone with strength. Someone needs to open the door. I have strength. Yeah, Vincent, you have 19 now. No, Little sister's got 19 strength now. So y'all are sisters, brother and sister in this? I, no. That's a just, plus four. You call her a little girl. I was trying to think of something I can call her. And I thought, y'all are brother and sister now. (laughs) Nope. That's y'all are brother and sister. Our parents were awkward, apparently. (laughs) I'm half elf, half human, and I'm not sure how that happened. Wait, what are you, Claudia? Who's going to open the door? Changeling. Changeling. A changeling. But nobody knows that. By the way. Oh. I got a little changeling in me. No. <laughs> you want a little more? No. Uh, you know what? You ever done it with an ogre? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Shmay, remember the, hey, you remember the, the Black Widow and... and, and no. 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 <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh, anyway. Anyway, moving on. See, now his kids ain't in here and he's like... I, want to I need to make a note. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. He's going to pull up Microsoft Note now and just be like, Note. That's all it says. It just says Note. <laughs> well, I have Notepad pulled up, so... Okay. <laughs> so, who's going to open the door to the chamber? Technically, there are three of us You're that could still? do it. All right. Give me a stealth check. I'll open the door. All right. So, Claudia gets down nice and low, and Keegan can just... <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to strut up and do this. You you grab the door. It's not... It's it's heavy, but it's it's balanced where it opens well. And no, no check required. The door opens. You find yourself uh, staring down on a nice, long hallway, probably 120 feet wide. Mm. 
About 40 feet in front of you, the floor <laughs> falls out, and you see a drawbridge, a, a rope bridge, okay. sp- spanning 80 feet. So, Kronk, we're going to have you go first. You're the heaviest. If it's if it can handle his strain, we're good. Yeah. So I wish I wish he had like super jump, <laughs> just like Hulk style. Yeah. I mean, I, I base all of my characters off of comic book characters because well, I mean, you know American. Anybody want to like climb the walls over? Somebody has spider climb. Somebody. Yeah. Somebody has been playing way too much Breath of the Wild. <laughs> spider climb, dude. I saw that one earlier. and was like, ooh. You grabbed spider climb. Yeah. Oh, really. Yeah. Um. You know. Can I test the bridge? What would you like to do to test the bridge? Like jump up and down. Like grab <laughs> grab the ropes on each end safely and just kind of jiggle a little, a little give, bit. Give, give, give me an investigation test. check for the bridge to see how sound it is. That's a twenty, natural twenty. Okay. Investigation. <laughs> I watched Temple of Doom the other so, night. So twenty two. <laughs> twenty two. Twenty two. Um, from this point, it seems pretty firmly anchored. Um, I don't trust it. It seems pretty firmly anchored. <laughs> this DM is evil. The uh, <laughs> This portion of the bridge seems pretty sturdy. You don't know about the planks further in, but this section seems sturdy. But line of sight, what you can see clearly is, is good. I'm going to tie my 50-foot rope to me and, the other and end of crank. crank. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of stress on one rope. Crank weighs like three hundred something pounds. I, oh, I'm not. I'm not sending out Crank. Yeah, I'm sending more. out me. I was sending out me. Oh, okay. He's gonna be the anchor. <laughs> yeah. okay. So is this okay. rope paracord? Well, it, no. Actually, no. It, I have 50, 50 okay. feet okay. of okay. hemp roll or hemp rope. Okay. Correct? So Claudia yeah. takes out a ball bearing and. Jeez. Falls for ball bearings were small. Falls for quite a ways, and then you hear a splash. <laughs> That'll do. It's, I'll allow it. Did we hear any ruckus? You didn't hear any ruckus. You hear moving water. Okay, so there's moving water underneath. If I test the bridge, I should be safe because he weighs 300 pounds. If I am not mistaken, I weigh way less than this man so i should be good if something was to fall out now as for something coming up that's another story I they were right in the details hey if you that. kyle if you happen to I weigh uh, pull crank down how bad would that hurt you <laughs> if crank lands on me i'm screwed the only way up i'm 160 pounds that's right, it so crank are you gonna go test the bridge is that soaking wet i don't know crank are you testing the bridge because that's crank sorry <laughs> keegan are you going to test the bridge anchor to crank wait, wait will you let me use you yeah he's like yeah fine god <laughs> that's what happens when you're the strong one of the group and the rope snaps <laughs> it's a five it's a five you uh you walk out to about 40 feet cranks at the end of the rope uh, what are you doing? I stepped on a cat. <laughs> Sorry, that was supposed to be a creaky board. It didn't turn out right. No, I didn't, but it sounded like a cat. A poor cat. <laughs> Crank stepped on a cat. <laughs> no, if you stepped on a cat, it would just be... <laughs> it would just be... <laughs> the boards creak and moan. But uh, mm. out to 50. I'm at 50. I can only go 50. I'm stopping at 50. Out, out to 50 feet. Seems okay. You've got 30 feet more to go. <laughs> Can I just like dash? Dash across. You're going to dash yeah, across? Dash. Yeah. How wide she is, is going to Naruto run. All right. Uh, Wait. Hey, Keegan is in the way. Are you going to let him come back first or are you going to dash beside him? Let me get out of the way. It's pretty narrow. Let me get jumping, out of the way. Jumping. Jumping. <laughs> Do the walls go all the way? Though, She's going to yeah. bounce off my head, fly up, <laughs> fly that 30 feet You're gonna across. You're going to spider climb and run the walls? Yeah. All right. So you t- you take your action, you start booking it down. Uh, are you going to run across the bridge after yeah. Keegan comes back? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm out, I'm out of the way. All right, so um, Claudia and Vizard both take off running. One of them running on the walls, one of them sprinting across the bridge. They both get to 60 feet. I knew I knew it. I knew it. I was right on the, the edge. second I decided to do it, it's like... Oh. And 
This awkward silence. Two, <laughs> what you thought were stalactites on the roof, you watch as eyes open up and tentacles fly out. Just keep going. I don't do tentacles. Bro. Just um, keep going, just keep going, <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> the roper has a multi-attack and you, did, you did not see him coming. So Detach myself from the rope. <laughs> the, I do not want to be tied to that. <laughs> the, um, the roper gets a multi-attack for four. So he's going to get strike on both of you. Ow. <coughs> that is right. a six plus seven is so, a 13. Yeah. Vizard, that one hits you. Ow. Six plus seven is 13. What's your armor class? 17. 17. Two more. He's already got him. Eight plus seven is 16? 15? Yes, 15. Last one. 18. Can we see what this creature looks like? Looks, yes. I will send you a picture. So with the armor class of 14 at the moment, what am I looking like? Um, oh, come on now. Show the picture. There it is. Can I dodge that? Um, it would reduce That's the damage, great. but it would not stop you <coughs> immediately being grappled oh, and pulled God. 30 feet. Ow. You are now dangling in the air, pulled off your wall. You oh. are dangling in the air above the bridge. I can't dodge. No. Wait, did we untie the rope? Or am I still I, I, the those two were tied together. Those two were not. No, wait. I, I attached myself from him. This is the roper. Oh, God. This thing is ugly. Okay, so try to imagine a stalactite oh, with one good. giant eye, a really big mouth, and a bunch of tentacles, and that's what you'll get with what we're dealing with. I would make a description, but there are children in the room, and I can't make that description. That is one big okay, pile of shit. So, I'm that. Attack, um... Mm. Think of Galgartha with freaking piranha teeth, a single eye, and tentacles. Neither of you take any damage from the attack because it was aiming to grapple you. So, can dodge would not help because can dodge only reduces damage. I mean, damage. just like dodge as a... Dodge is an action, which would make it a uh, disadvantage to hit you, but you didn't know it was there, so you would have no reason to take dodge as an action. You know, we didn't investigate the room at all when we walked in. Okay, so we immediately just looked at the bird. Can I just like start swinging? <laughs> Alright, so I now I need initiative. You are now in combat with the rope. You two are still tied together. I got 15. I'm Naruto running. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to be, like, dragged. <laughs> Five. Five. I have 15. <laughs> Hold on. All right, Keegan got 15. Wait, it's fifth. Do we add... Uh, plus dexterity. Oh, plus dexterity? Give me a second. So 19, I believe, for you. Claudia, um, what was yours? 24. 18. I'm at 18. Okay. Got it. I'm afraid to roll this die. Crank, what was yours? My initiative. Initiative. I rolled a five. Five. Okay. Five Plus guard. dexterity. Plus seven, dexterity is. 18. So I got a seven. Okay. Got that. I got an eighteen, dude. I'm loving these dice. I, I'm I'm glad I got my dice back here. <coughs> the, the ones I used last game. Mm. Five. Crank's not going last once. You're missing one. I am. Yes. Nope. What'd you roll? Oh, I just... Visegard... Oh, what is that? Visegard and Keegan uh, tied for initiative. I need... Who has the higher dexterity? I believe it's Keegan. Yeah. Dexterity, I have three. Okay. I only have one. <laughs> Claudia. Keegan. I almost wrote Kellogg's. <laughs> Kellogg's. I am now a cereal. <laughs> I have my own. I am more popular than Count Chocula. Oh, but I figured you were more for Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh. A little fire. Lucky Charms. All right, so, Claudia, it is your turn first. Have you noticed she goes first every you, time? <laughs> she has really high decks. Um, yeah. um, there's another reason. Ladies first. No. Um, Wifey first. No. That's um, where I was getting at. So, you are grappled. You can either spend your action to not be grappled, or you can make your attacks with disadvantage. Your goal. What? How loud is that one of I can hear it, but it's not like it's insane. Not it's not loud. Uh, loud. I just was like, uh, oh, we're kind of getting 30 feet. Yeah, that yeah, wasn't any that. quieter either. Uh, yeah. But it won't get no louder. Okay. You're hanging 25 feet exactly up. But I'm going to take fall damage. You're dangling. There's yeah. water, though. You are currently over yeah, the I'm bridge. I'm hanging over the bridge. You are yeah. not. Yeah, you're both, you're both, like, because he's centered above the bridge, you both, like, pendulum swing to the middle. Ouch. So you're both you're both hanging over the bridge. Wait, we've got a rope attached to us. You both do. Yes. Yes, I know. But if I take that rope off, can I grab her? 
lasso. She's, she well, it's he's got spider climb, yeah. and so he, he can, has to get to a surface to be able to use okay. that. Yeah. I'm just gonna like. Uh, I have dual wield, so I'm just like brandish yes. two short swords. Are you gonna go after the, the tentacle that's on you? Yeah. All right, please roll to hit. And eighteen. That hits. Wait, no, eighteen total. Yes. Eighteen total does not hit. It's the tendrils. She got twenty five. Twenty five hits. Twenty five. She hits. got no, go ahead. It hits. What? It does <laughs> hit. Look, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Thought so. Twenty five definitely yeah. hits. Oh, no, it was roll it again, roll it. That was the you're sleeping in the truck. Yeah. Man. Sleeping in the driver's seat, not the camper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dead air. Talk about something. Uh, no, 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 no. We're waiting for. Well, so, have you seen about the Area 51 rebuke oh. thing? Done? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about that a rebuke. Okay. All so right. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I know the Air Force was going. We'll pick it back up in a minute. All right. So. Uh, she rolled a 40? 40 damage. 40 damage on the tentacle. She just reaches back, slice. <whistles> Bounce, hits the, hits the, uh, hits the bridge. I need a dexterity saving throw to main, stay on the bridge. Stay on the bridge? I would, I to not fall like... off the bridge, because you bounce from the Ouch. Bridge. Jesus, I bounce? <laughs> yes. He bounces. A little bit. 25 feet on a, 17, on a, okay. On a rope. Yeah, Ridge. 25 feet on the rope, like falling on. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully not more. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would more like <laughs> be a wave. You do not fall off the bridge. You manage to hold on. You guys better hold on. Um, uh, that's the thing. We're on. We're on safety okay. ground right now. Kick it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to take the rope off of me. Okay. You're getting ready. Your okay. safety line. I don't know. Should we stay attached or no? Untie it because I got something planned. All right, uh, we we untie ourselves. He's we like, are... he, he starts to untie it. He looks at Crank. He's like, you better, "Yeah, you better. yeah." Crank's like, <laughs> "Okay, all right, all right." So I, I I have detached myself. I am going for those of you that have not seen Endgame. That was a spoiler. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to use my bow and try to help Vizard here. You're going to try to you're going to try to shoot the tendril. Yeah. Please, Please roll to hit. hit me. Please don't miss and hit me. <laughs> no. How bad is? I got. A, I rolled a nineteen plus dexterity, so that would be twelve. Nineteen. Twenty-four. Uh, yeah. Twenty. Wait. What? Yeah. Nineteen plus five is twenty-four. Dexterity, not strength. He yes. went to public school. Oh, so twenty-three. It would be yeah, twenty-five tw altogether. It, no, it would be twenty-two. Plus it would be twenty-two. Great, you're gonna fall and bust your head. Twenty-two. Nineteen plus four. Plus three. Oh, okay. That's why I was okay, confused. So what, I was like, it's like this twenty-two. What twenty-two are you doing? plus proficiency. Plus three, so that would be twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Okay. Please so. roll damage. You can also uh, choose to spend a spirit or dice pyramid. if you feel like it. Double pyramid. Yes. yes. Three, Three plus your dexterity. That would be six. Plus two more because it's a bow. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Eight. I don't know why I went blank. And it's it's about that thick, and you're 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 about forty feet away. It's a tough shot. You pull back, you nick it right in half. Call me legless, motherfucker. But <laughs> yeah. the, like on the side half, and it it hangs. It's still holding on, but barely. Mm. But hey. I've weakened the grip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, if you want. Um, you imagine another like shot like that would sever it. Him and him what if I shoot its eye? You they don't know if that would do anything. The tentacles don't seem that. to be wrapping. They appear to be adhesive. <sighs> I know, but that would cause it to go blind. Whatever you want to do. Stole I am going to try to shoot its eye out. Okay. Stole my idea. Is this thing squishy? It, it has the... Uh, it, it's outer Shit. carapace looks like Squishy. rock, but it's it, like it, it, it looks like stone, and it, it's pretty. It looks pretty sturdy. Okay, but is like is it like fleshy? It is okay. Its carapace is made of stone. Okay, so okay. Right. it's okay. <laughs> Are we ready? Mm -hmm. It's a one. Man, that thing went around the world. It did. <laughs> so sixteen plus 16. three. <laughs> so 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. Plus three more for the precision. Twenty-one. So twenty-two. 
19, 22, plus 2. So that would be 24. That definitely hits. In the eye. Normally, when you want to make a called shot like that, it requires a critical hit to do a called shot. But you do damage, and you do hit it. So please roll damage. Double pyramid. Three. <laughs> plus dexterity is six. Plus two because it's an enchanted bow. Okay. So eight. <laughs> eight. He's going to be so upset when he watches this later. Who? <laughs> Why is he going to be upset? Did I forget it's something? Secret. That face, though. Probably going to be <laughs> upset. <laughs> All right. So. Did we add two on my last shot? I don't think so. Oh, well, I don't think it would matter okay. either way. So, um, damage taken. Those were both your shots. Keegan, after <coughs> you, is Visegard. And I weaken the grip. And on I'm still it. dangling. Yes. But I weaken <laughs> the grip. Dangling by, t by its tentacle. I feel kind of violated here. I'm no, sensing no, a lot of Japanese no, comments. No, no, no. <laughs> I felt that coming. That That's what she said. <laughs> there are children in the no. They like so there is no children here. We're good. You know how hard here, it was when he I'm showed sorry. us the picture I'm of that sorry. thing <laughs> to not go. It looks like piranha teeth, a big pile of dookie, and something off of some tentacle porn. You know how hard it was not to say that. All right, all right, anyway, anyway. Guard, it's your turn. He's like, get away from it. <laughs> I'm gonna try Eldritch Blast in its eye. Maybe at least it'll help me. You are grappled, so it would be oh. a disadvantage. Here. It's your call. Here. You need to weaken. Oh, wait. You need to weaken that grip, dude. I got a short sword. Yes, you need to weaken that grip. I might actually have a good reason to use a short sword. Whack right. the tentacle. I would remind Just... you to be careful about fall damage. Ah. And be aware that uh, the tentacle seemed pretty hard to cut through Ooh. from watching. I mean, I put I put one hell of an arrow through it and only half weakened it. Mm. Let's see. And you're not exactly the strongest member physically. We're gonna have to catch you. Hmm. You'll have to toss me. <laughs> Tossing to Don't tell the elf. <laughs> Don't tell the elf. <laughs> okay. So out. maybe the blast on the tentacle would be the best move. All right. Roll. Roll the first beam with disadvantage. That's it. Five. 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 Go ahead. Roll again. All right. That was the first one. So five, if that's the lowest. <clears throat> Is that a six or a nine? Where's the dot? Where's the line? The dot shows the bottom. The line. dot is at the bottom? Yeah. Oh. The dot's at the bottom. Six. Okay. okay. Mine so, has a line so on it. So five. Five plus five is ten, plus three more is thirteen. That does not hit. Ouch. You have one more strike. One more Eldritch Blast. Blast. Eleven. Eleven. Disadvantage. Roll higher. Seventeen. Seventeen. So eleven, because you had disadvantage. So... 11 plus 5 is 16, plus 3 more 19. is 19. 20 is the armor class that does not hit. This is one tough little so, monster. So, Visegard, that was both your strikes. Uh, is that going to be it for you? Uh, Hang on. I don't for guess your I can life. throw a dagger at it just to no, the hell of it. I don't think you have a dagger. Can, you, can he stab one. it with you the have dagger? A dagger? Yeah, I got two of them. If you want to, if you want to make an offhand weapon attack, you can you can throw a dagger at it, but you will have disadvantage, and you do not add your proficiency bonus because you're not proficient with offhand weapons. So it'd have to be a exact roll. Can he can he stab it? With it the would dagger? have to be probably two twenties for you to hit. I mean, as close range as he is using a dagger to kind of his his arms are kind of so it's kind of hard to. Get that's what I'm saying. Like so a, it's more like a, like a poking. It, it would be a disadvantage. Can he <laughs> saw <laughs> very slowly? Wait a minute. Uh, this is not a good. <laughs> I just realized that we're Wait, so dirty-minded that, that we uh, do it. Subconscious. Don't worry, it didn't the one get that seen. Doesn't last short range. <laughs> I wish uh, I remembered that. Word of radiance. I, I think you. I didn't know if you took that. There's yeah, a, I forgot all about it. Word of Radiance? Yep. Okay. That's a cantrip. You'll have to spend your action to cast it. Damn. I forgot all about but it. That, was, the end. that would have probably helped. All right, so after Vizard, crank. Crank. All right. Get crunk. Wait, did you, did you take your side of the rope off? Because if not, you got my 50-foot rope dangling from okay, your back end. Okay, off. I'll take it off. <laughs> okay. But anyway, how far away is this beast from you? He's 30 feet out and 25 foot up. So... So about 40 foot. foot at an angle? Yeah, like 40 foot angle. I, well, I, I can't, I'm going to take my <laughs> so hammer axe. Right okay. I'm going to throw it as hard as I can right okay. into the mass, into the body of this creature. It is quite possible that that thing is going to fall off the side of the bridge and you'll never see it again. 
So I could lose a weapon. It, you could very well lose it. I mean, I've you still you still got that uh, plus two axe technically. So this would just be a sacrifice weapon anyway. It's up to you. You're not really down anything. It's, we okay. we you're, literally you're found that on the floor. Axe, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, I'll just use the the plus two axe then. I forgot right. about that. So again, you'd have to throw it. Okay. And it is a possibility. I wouldn't. I wouldn't throw go. the plus two axe, bro. Okay. Re- what about the hammer axe? It's got. Okay. No, I'm saying throw the battering ram. Screw well, it. Okay. Throw the battering ram. Yeah, because okay. I mean we literally found it on the floor. Yeah, Who okay. gives a crap? So I'm going to throw the battering ram. Okay. Give right, me an, that's what I'm give saying. Give me an attack roll. Um, I'm going to say athletics since you're. I'm assuming you're. Well, you would have lost your rage, so you'd have to go into another rage if you want to have your. And you had a rest, okay, so let me you go could into do it. Rage. Okay, so you're using bonus action to rage. Okay. Now give me an athletics check to toss the thing because it's not a normal weapon to be thrown. Athletics it's a battery check. ram. Uh, it's, athletics is plus eight. Mm-hmm. So roll with advantage. Take roll twice and take the higher. Eleven. Eleven. Roll more times. See if it's higher. 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. Yeah. Um, plus proficiency is 24. Right. And that's not an enchanted weapon, so 24. Okay. okay. It is an improvised weapon. It is not meant to be thrown, so please roll one. Uh, are, are you aiming center mass for the creature? Yeah. All right, please roll 1d6. That's the so regular this, dice, this the one you're, com- okay. you're comfortable with. Yep. And roll that. Add your strength. Two. My strength is... Plus five, five so seven. seven. You are raging, so it's two more damage. So nine. Nine damage. Okay. All right. You take a running uh, a step back, and you just chunk it, and it goes, visor right over your head, right past the head. <laughs> Wham! <Sing. laughs> it takes how much damage? Give me all the damage. <laughs> how much did I say? Every bit of the damage. It takes it all. Like, it like, takes it all. Like 11? We'll say 30. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's not what I'm writing down. It's not pleading for a haircut. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was your first attack. Okay. Do you have any other plans to do anything else? So how much damage did it do to it? I, I'm pretty sure you said 11 total. Could be wrong. So is everybody's... What else can I do to it? Is there anything else nearby? Mm-mm. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Can well, I do? are some of the tentacles Try nearby us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I got an so idea. So it hasn't come after me. It hasn't. Uh-oh. It hasn't had a turn. It hasn't come after us. Them. So hey. you and me are still I on the side. An idea for you. What is it? Tell me. I got it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, you can have a staring competition with it. <laughs> All right. So, are you but it has an arrow on its eye. It? You have thirty oh, feet well. of movement. Okay. You can get. I'm going to get as close to it as I can. Okay. Uh, 30 feet of movement, you're moving towards an enemy. You can, uh, you can use your bonus action since you didn't use it for attack. Uh, no, you used your bonus action already. So you can move 30 feet closer. Okay. All right, so um, I believe I said it was 80 feet out. No, no, I'm you sorry. You said it was 60. 60. It was a, four, it it was was a 40, 40 degree, so I or 40, 40 foot from here to here because it was 30 and then like okay. 25. So, so. Yeah, uh, thirty feet out. Mm-hmm. Um, that's ha- that's where you get after crank. It is the Roper's turn. The Roper Uh-oh. doesn't look too bad. Is going to do his multi attack. He has a range of fifty feet. Shoot the big guy! Shoot the big guy! Shoot you? the big guy! I'm safe. You're still there. You immediately got hauled twenty five feet closer to the mouth. Ah, shit. The rest of you are all going to get a strike on you. Uh. So Keegan, that is a 18. I'm a 19 class, so I'm safe. Misses. Eight, Claudia, that is a 15. What's your armor class? 17. Crank, it's a 17. What's your armor class? 15. It probably just made us a mistake because a, a tentacle reaches out, grabs you, and pulls you up. Uh, right. Pulls you up 25 feet towards it. You are now dangling. Okay. Um. 25 feet. So this thing is it shorter was, than we are. Yeah. How how uh how high did I say the ceiling was? 30 feet up? You never technically 50. said how high the, it was the at a 40 was. yeah, it, 30 feet up because it was at a 40 angle. Okay. So, um that's close enough to get you in the mouth. You're going to take a bite attack as the rover starts biting down on you. I'm getting munched again. <laughs> are you missing the tiles yet? <laughs> I want someone to look at that 20 and confirm it. 
That is a, a ten. nice try. That uh, is a natural twenty. Looks like a ten. No, <laughs> now he's getting four times. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so that was a critical hit. So uh, you immediately take how much health do you have? Fifty. Oh, fifty. He, he, he has, has fifty. Fifty. You take forty-four piercing damage. Oh, oh man. The normal damage is twenty-two. It was a the crit, so it was double. Fuzzy. <laughs> it hurts bad. That was the end of its turn. After the Roper Plotty, it's your turn again. Blood starts pouring from the ceiling. It's it, that hurt. So his, your total health is at <laughs> like six, six, six. Twenty-four hit. Twenty-four does hit. Give it all you got. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Shoot it! Kill it. Ah! <laughs> You just see feet hanging out from the mouth, and it's sucking on his head, and like, Rrr. that sounded wrong. It does now that I said it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The oh, inappropriate that jokes. wonderful imagery. We have to put a disclaimer up. <laughs> disclaimer. D and D is graphic. Sure, adults. Thirty-six damage. Thirty-six damage. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> He's like, gosh. No, not dead yet. But that was a hell of a. <laughs> 36. Good job, little sister. Uh-huh. Thank you! He's blood now. <laughs> you just hear a muffled scream. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that was your attack. Bonus action. Bonus action. I didn't see the roll. I didn't see it. You didn't ask anyone to look at it until after you rolled it. Me. Okay, you can have it. But, that, but next time, <laughs> say you're attacking, and when I ask you to roll, roll so I can watch it. That's how that works. So go ahead. Your roll a d4, multiply it by two. That look she's giving him. Mm-hmm. That, <laughs> that car ride is gonna be a long one. Oh, and you gotta ride with him. <laughs> it's, it's all in his truck, though. I mean, so twenty. That's at least a plus. It was three times two is six, plus your stuff. You don't you don't add, you don't multiply the additions. You add those after you multiply the dice. So six plus five for dexterity is eleven. And you don't add proficiency to damage. So, 11. What? Do you not understand? about 15, no. 20 minutes. Okay, when you get a crit, the Go dice are doubled. Be, you don't double you your modifiers or anything else. So, you, you roll to 3. You'll be here times 2 minute. is 6. Then you add your dexterity, which is 5, which makes it 11. So, that's your total, was 11. What's proficiency? You don't add proficiency to damage. No. You add proficiency because you get proficiency on the strike because you're a dual wielder. You don't add proficiency ever to damage. So, got it. After Claudia, Keegan, short turn. Okay. Well, can I lasso the rope around his foot? You want to spend your action to make a lasso? Because it wasn't a lasso before. Well, technically it would be. By the way. No, you untied it, so it would be... Yeah, no, I, I said I got out of it. I never I said I untied it. You don't have it. He does. No, this he took it off. Yeah, but you're not three. close to it, are you? Yeah, I never, I'm never. i not on the bridge. Line. And then you add your... So technically, I'm still on safety ground. Oh, you went back to the bridge? Yeah, because I had to get out of the way so she can Naruto run through the bridge. <laughs> 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 so I'm technically still on the ground. You guys are all dangling <laughs> everywhere. I'm the one who's still on... Safety no, ground. I'm the one that's getting his head munched off. I know, and I'm trying to solve how to get you out. <laughs> well, kill it. <laughs> that is true. I guess I okay, could just I'm in use a tentacle. My... You are you are grappled, but it's Keegan's turn. Okay. So I I guess I'm gonna shoot it some more. Okay, you're gonna shoot it some more. Roll the hit. Hey, hey who's making the tapping sound? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Nervous leg. Mm. Now you can go back to doing that. <laughs> so I have 14 with proficiency and dexterity. How much? I have 14 with the proficient and dexterity. Unfortunately, that is not high enough. The armor class of the Roper is 20. I think I'm going to make a lasso and try to get you out. That's all I can think to do. All right, so you, you made your first attack action, so you are committed oh. to another attack. Okay, so, well, I'm sorry. 
That's okay. It's got me in his teeth. <laughs> 14 so again. Know. I'm afraid not. All right. After Keegan, Vizard, what are you doing to get out of this? I'm just watching this. I'm going to shove an Eldritch Blast up its gullet. <laughs> Rolled hit with advantage because you are in the mouth. It needs to come out the pooper. <laughs> You were at ground zero for this thing. 19. And a 19. You just 19. see a light beam come out the back roll, end of it. Roll it again Boom. with advantage just in case it's a crit. No, but it's a 19. So that's a 19 and then 5. 24 plus 3 more is 27. So that definitely hits. Please roll. That was the first beam. You have another beam you can cast. Because it's two can beams. Can I combine them to do one big one? Yes. So roll it again for your second one to see if it hits. Because it's two beams. Roll with advantage. See if it's a crit. 15, so, so 20, that's definitely going to hit. So please roll 2d10. Come on, give me a big number. Give me, give me, I want to see this thing. Rub the belly for good luck. Big whammy, big whammy. <laughs> Rub the Buddha for good luck. No. Oh. What the <laughs> <laughs> it's the Buddha belly. 21. 21 damage? That's a 2. That's a 10. Yeah, that's <laughs> He's a like, d10. a 2 so and a 0. A uh, that's a d10. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a d10. So that's a maximum of two. So that's uh, three. Oh, plus you your, add those. Yeah. Eight. So add your your plus five because of your charisma. So eight. Got Didn't it. Nothing. <laughs> not not looking so hot. All right. After crank. After Visegard is crank. You are uh, oh. about fifteen feet away. Is crank. It, are you is still juice? Like smoking out his mouth a little. <laughs> Smoke out the ears. <laughs> Crank, are you still uh, juiced? Like, I could just picture my character. Yeah, are you still raging? I think I'm yeah, still raging. you would still yeah. be raging. Okay. So you would get an advantage. Would it, what, well, wait a minute. Since he has grappled, minute. does the advantage happen or does the disadvantage happen? Right. Or does it cancel If he is out? being grappled while raging, does the advantage happen or the disadvantage happen? Or does they both? cancel out. So you would just do a normal hit. Uh, yeah. If... You don't get advantage on a weapon attacks. Okay. The, the throwing of the battering ram was an. You have that check. plus two axe. You do have a plus two. Yeah. You could I'm chop assuming that you thing. kind of want to be grappled to get hoisted up. I'm going to climb up the tentacle to its face. Use my plus two axe. Give me an athletics down. check. To, athletics check. Yep. Would that be I'd acrobatics or athletics? Athletics. D twenty. Roll it with advantage because you're raging. Roll it again because you're you're at advantage. <coughs> Oh, all right. So what's the total? So two, five, seven plus seven, three. eight, nine, ten. Ten total. Yeah. Ten was the DC. It was not very hard. Uh, you you start climbing and you make it the fifteen feet right up right beside Vizard, and you, it's just this. He's just chewing and blood curdling. So you, I'm assuming you're holding on with one hand and going to give him with the other. Yeah. Give me an attack roll. Attack roll. All right. I had this figured out earlier. 17. Okay. Plus, that's, Plus 5. That's definitely going to hit, so, so go ahead and roll damage. It's a d12. That was d12. This one. Yep. Alright, I'm going to give everybody a... Uh, Nine. 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 Plus... Yeah, everybody's health. That's like your strength. Mike, Mike. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. 14 plus sure. 2 because you're There we go. So that's 16. much better. That's much better. Because, yeah. uh, Is everybody's uh, health damage? the I'm same? Six. Except for... Oh, I knew it is. okay. <clears throat> the thing just like uh, crank taints his axe, smashes it right in the face and the eye, like right beside it, is just bloody and it starts to p fall out. And it's just gnawing on uh, Visegard. It's hanging yeah. by it. How, how much damage did he do? He did 18. Ooh. You have one more strike. Wait a minute, I got one a more one. strike. Yep. Get me out of this so roll to hit. <laughs> All right. So uh, what was everybody's health at? I am still at seventy two. I haven't taken a six hit. Plus five. I don't I think, think eleven. Plus, huh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Thirteen. So once again, I'm the one getting mauled. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm on. But you're not Four, dead. I'm proud of you. So, man, don't don't that say that out loud. He might remember. Sixteen total. This is what everybody's twenty. You go. Shit. You go don't for this. it again. It just bounces off. That was, the, that's uh, not looking hide. good. Dang After it. crank, it's the Roper's turn again. Nah, looking good. How much has this thing got? After crank, it's the Roper's turn. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Low, damn you. Okay, fine. It's a sign. It wants me to live. <laughs> there it is. All right. Well, so, so. he's going to make a bite attack against Vizard. He has advantage because you're in his mouth. How's our time? Roughly time 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes left? Yeah. 
All right, we have 10 minutes left, so as soon as this thing's gone. 19. If y'all can I get it going. I already wiped them out. I already knew. One second. <laughs> the, the flailing body of Visegard goes limp. Oh, no. Whoa. Did I miss? So he's dead. He's put, dead. It, put his health at zero, please. Yeah, zero. zero. All right. Uh, the roper is also going to... <coughs> let's just let's see, show you all this. Real, you're right in his face, so it's yeah, not going it to reel is. you in any further. His guard. Neither of you were caught, so he's gonna he's gonna throw both uh, two strikes at each of you to try to catch you. That's a on Keegan. That is a thirteen plus seven. That is a twenty. On Claudia, that is a fourteen. And that is a eleven. Keegan, you get snatched by the waist. Shit. And yanked up fifteen feet. Claudia manages to duck in the last second. All right, that is the Roper's turn. Lucky girl. Now it is. <laughs> now it is Claudia's turn. What are you doing? Shoot it. Shoot him. Shoot him. It's slimy. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. That hits. Twenty is the armor class. Oh, not so good. Twenty. Twenty. 20 damage? Oh, yeah. She she watches as Visegard is getting crunched and she's just like, watches the body fall limp. One last arrow. Right in the eye. Twitch, twitch. I need dexterity saving throws from everybody who was hanging from the air okay. as the creature dies. I'm guessing that don't count for me can since I'm already dead. You uh, automatically 12. fail yours. Uh, 12? Can I go 10 10 plus 12. so he doesn't like die? You automatically like, die, die? Hold on. Keegan? I got a 10 plus dexterity, correct? Uh-huh. So that would be 13. Okay, so you're fine, too. Oh, I got a 12. You're fine. Okay. You you both you both managed to grab onto the chains. One of you might be hanging off, but you managed to pull yourself up. Claudia, give me a initiative check. Initiative? Give me a dexterity check, basically. No. Four. Four oh. plus five, nine. Did we right. say goodbye to Visgord? Yeah, I'm I'm dead for the moment. Play yeah. the bagpipes. <laughs> I can Hang do on. it. He automatically <laughs> fails his, his dexterity save because he's unconscious. There's a percentage chance that he falls off the bridge. Oh, shit. If, if I roll 10% or lower... Can I grab him as he falls? You were falling too. You couldn't. No, I'm safe. I know you were. It happens at the exact same time. And you're oh, falling, dang falling. it! So there is. If I roll ten or less, <laughs> it's off the side. You can't do that. You can't do that. Copyright. 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 It's not copyright. Yeah. Yes, it is. Depending copyright on the is, artist. It's just done by a regular guy playing bagpipes. It still. They can still copyright. It can, they can still copyright it. Yep. It's a pain in the ass. Sorry. I rolled a twenty-one. He lands on the bridge and is fine. He does take fall damage and immediately uh, fails one death save. You're already dead, so you're fine. <laughs> but you're fine. So one death save ahead, huh? Well, one death save. So immediately somebody, I'm assuming somebody's going to try to get to him. Well, technically he, we he have to He bounces and rolls it. over, almost over. Yes. Medicine check. Give me a medicine check. to say unconscious, so that'd be kind of a... <clears throat> That's fine. <laughs> uh, so Claudia manages to, to stabilize uh, Visegard. And we have to stop right here. Yeah. So no, we, bit. we got about what, eight minutes. We got eight minutes. Yeah. Okay. Well, keep going then. Okay. And when we get to five, no. How long do we want to do the outro? I mean, just two minutes. All, All right, right. So we're at fifty-two. We're at an hour and fifty-two minutes, or this will be fifty-three minutes. Yeah. Because we did good. We started straight up on the nose. Okay. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take a break here. Okay. I know we're a little early, but we're going to go ahead and take the break here. That's fine. Let me go ahead. So and, I can play And for those more. in YouTube land, that means the end of today's episode. It yeah. really does. Now, uh, first off, you wanted to, since we have this little bit of time, do you mind if we squeeze some quick news in? So, James, you were asking about the Area 51 yeah. thing. I want to make yeah. it real quick for those that haven't heard. So I heard they had mobilized the, uh, the Air Force. Uh, not the Air Force. No, not, not the Air Force. But, no, but the Air Force did, did release a statement. At, no, the military, the U.S. military actually issued a statement. So let me go ahead for those that don't know. September 20th, there was a Facebook post for September 20th, and it was like 20... 
thousand or like two hundred thousand or something like oh, that. They're People's, over a million. They're over a million. Yeah. One point like one two point million. million. Okay, so yeah, so this many people said that they were actually going to come to Area 51 on September 20th. And they said, and I quote, if we Naruto run, we will be faster than their bullets. That being said, <laughs> the military actually put out a statement and it's said it was the US now. the uh, US 7 million now. It's how much? 2.7 million. Oh my god. Yeah, so, I see faces on so, here that are going. Um, that I know. <laughs> it was the uh, U.S. Uh, it, it was the U.S. military. No, it was the Air Force. It's, it it's, no, Air Force. no, the U.S. military no, actually put a no, statement well, out. The U.S. Too. Air Force is the military. Well, yeah. I know, but I'm saying the whole military itself said it, it is a training well, ground that it is un or quote unsafe. And the first thing they show, if you actually watch the real thing where they actually put it out, yeah. it shows a picture of a hog flying through the air and shooting the ground. And they said, "We ask that people don't come. You might get hurt." Is yeah. how they put it, and they showed a picture of the hog just shooting into the ground, and, and it's like, oh, dude, some of the comments they've made, like any attempt to illegally access the area is yeah. highly discouraged. They are trying. Basically, what the military did is they put an actual warning out saying, "You cross the fence, you well, don't come back." What it was, the whole reason <laughs> the, the 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 gr the event was created. Oh, Somebody went to the area fifty one base earlier this year, like back in February. Yeah, and, and he didn't make it. He didn't make it, so somebody just somebody just made a joke out out of, out of, it, out of the whole thing. Because apparently he ran well, through the barricade yeah. and they shot him up. Well, like you well, have a fence, like probably three or four miles before I've, the actually I've seen base. the fence from a distance. I'm not going towards the thing. Period. Yeah. So if you go through the fence, like yeah, that's, once, that's once you on cross you. this certain Your barricade, ass is up to you, their discretion. Basically, is what it boils down the to. The official response from the Air Force was, Area 51 is an open training range for the U.S. Air Force, and we would discourage anyone from trying to come to the area where we train American Armed Forces. The U.S. Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets. And I love how they pointed out this domestic. is a this is a training place, Yeah, which means we have people who are learning how to shoot very well. It's like... <laughs> And I mean, and if you let that sink in from just that thought process alone, that is a threat. That's a blunt threat. That's basically, a, that's saying very nicely well, put. My yeah, is, the whole premise: show us them aliens. They've had, they're going to have months to get rid of what anything else they. Out of out of curiosity, uh, for everybody actually, that you know, I, I have a question I want to ask. What do you think is really in Area Fifty One? What do I think? Or what am I sure of? Nothing. Of Honestly, things. what I think prototypes, it would be. Yeah. Just some, that's what I was thinking was prototypes. Yeah, I really I think it. that's all that's in there. The uh, I would like to believe in aliens, but Fat Boy, no. what is the stealth bomber they developed about twenty years, thirty years ago called? Oh, the BT. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's where they were developed. So we know they develop aircraft, if nothing else. Yeah. They also developed the uh, developed that other one there in the fifties. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a history of seeing prototype planes coming out. So we know at least it does that. Now the whole air, you know, alien. Yeah. Controversies. I mean, well, the whole reason even that if it was real, they just had like three months to move them all out anyway. Well, I mean, if you stop and think about it, I don't think the military would allow us to, and this is just my belief, uh, to to do movies like uh, Independence Day where we have aliens. Because I mean, think about it. That just screams, "Hey, check out our barricade," kind of thing. I'm sorry, yeah. but it it just makes it into a too big of an attraction. Oh, yeah. For people to want to go and see, even if they don't cross the fence, just standing out there and kind of looking into which well, that's nothingness. Totally, that's totally legal. Yeah, like, that's legal. But I well, mean, the, the thing is, is like that would make it too difficult to do those well, kind I mean, of activities. As long as you're standing in front of that big sign, you're fine. You're not trespassing. The second you go behind it, your ass is up to Like, I mean, even a hair could go behind that and they would know about it. Yeah. I'm and, pretty sure they've got sensors yeah. all over the place. Oh, yeah, they do. They I mean, said they do. I mean, they, 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 these are the kind of people, instead of they want to storm Area 51, they need to be storming their local gym, getting them gains. <laughs> I just don't understand. Well, I mean, we're, they're going to have calls there, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard <laughs> that so many times. And they're going to flip Like, it if off. you go on TikTok, there's people like, we'll send the Kyles first. And I'm like, I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going to put. Hey, hey, here's a hitter. It just, well, I've heard they're offering I mean, free e-juice and monsters, so. 
Yeah, they're offering free monsters. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, this whole thing is dumb. It really but you is. know there's going to be some guys up there that's like, I don't hey, think... Chad, you want to go see some aliens? Yeah, Michael, that'd be great. And then they go. <laughs> and then they go, and then there's no more Chad. So, uh, yeah. Tommy, do you have anything? You haven't said much. I am making sure that I don't kill somebody in the next game. So, <laughs> okay. trying to do balancing things. Anyway, so that's pretty much the episode. We're going to end it here. We are going to be shooting another episode, so if you want to see the continuance, we will be posting episode three some other time. Like we're not We haven't week. decided when episode three yeah. is going to post out, but Just we're going to do it today. Join the bell squad. Get some notifications. So that way Subscribe you can keep up with the yep. D&D game whenever we uh, go. We might start doing this live uh in the future, it'll be a while. Right. Uh, Tommy's got some things he's got to handle. But we will be doing more episodes. We want to at least finish this campaign. And if people enjoy it, maybe we'll do another one. Who knows? We'll see. But, uh, yeah, this is this has been a lot of fun. We appreciate it, Tommy. Uh, it's been pretty awesome. Maybe my ass awesome. will quit Thank dying. Yeah, really <laughs> I, I thought for once, I was like, yes, I'm going to live. Literally, oh, literally, he went from laying on the floor like a plank to a toothpick. And just <laughs> <laughs> one creature. That's all it took. All right, anyway, I'm going to remind everybody what everybody's from... health is before we Oh, end. yeah, please, please. So this is everybody's health. Just and hard up. We have this guard at rest in peace is what I have him as right now. <laughs> is uh, rest in peace screen. is. Rest in peace here. Let me, yeah, let me fix that. Peace is. Rest in peace is. Peace is. Me um, and my mauled ass head. <laughs> you, got used a, you got used as a toothpick, bro. Man, I was a chew toy. That wasn't hey. a toothpick. I was a chew toy. <laughs> but you did give him some indigestion. No, it's like, uh, what was that movie where the guy hey, had yeah, the crawfish? Like- no, Mr. Bean, when he had the crawfish hanging out and you just watched it. <laughs> hey, you know what, though? He made a good point. At least I gave him some indigestion before I died. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little bit of heartburn. That's worse than talking uh, about. Who's next? <laughs> um, so we got Keegan. Still good. All right. 72. All right. Crank. Is that 90? Crank! <laughs> there we go. Game. That's what I was waiting on. Size of the prize. <laughs> and, let's go. And yeah. Claudia is at 55. All right. Well, we will see you guys in the next episode. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. This has been the D&D game. I, I, we we got to figure out this what to call this. This is the game that never, never ends. ends. Bye! <laughs>